in a second-hand set of dimensions, in an astral plane that was never meant to fly. Somewhere in darkest Ankh-Morpork, a sinister plot is about to unfold. next week for my usual special. Ah! Hey, <laughs> what's where you going? See you soon. Get off. Leave me alone. Damnation if you don't clear out, so help me, I'll... I'll... Oh, just bugger off! <laughs> That's better. It's on nights like this I could just murder a good curry. Up. Who's there? <laughs> hands. Would you mind putting your hands up? Why? What's happening? It's a simple courtesy. I say, put your hands up. And you, put your hands up. What did you say? <laughs> it's traditional. A well-established ritual of your actual mugger and victim relationship. You being a victim and me being the aforementioned mugger. Now, please, put your hands up. Hold on to you, what's the names? <laughs> I haven't got all night, you know. Just do it, all right? OK, OK. I don't know what this town is coming to. A man can't even have a quiet drink in peace. <laughs> now, that wasn't too hard, was it? Now, if you just... Oh, bugger. <laughs> Unseen University. The home of the greatest wizards on the Discworld. And one or two of the worst. Now, listen carefully. With all these rumours of a dragon... But, sir, dragons don't exist. At least, not unless people believe in them. Quite, quite. Nevertheless, with all these rumours of a dragon on the rampage, the wizards of Unseen University must fulfil their civic responsibility. We must seek out this dragon and destroy it. Yes, but how? Who? Leave the how up to me. As for the who, well, I know. 
know of the ideal person. Why don't you go and fetch Rincewind for me? Rincewind! Rincewind! Wake up! The Arch-Chancellor wants to see you! Nope! I can't shift it! A snoring chest? That's novel. Well, I'll soon fix that. This sodding thing hasn't got a doorknob. That doesn't work. Who do you think you're poking? I'm a great wizard, I am. I'll turn you into a mindless, ugly toad. Gosh, it worked. A snoring chest? That's... Hmm. Unseen University. Thermaturgy 101. Failed. Well, it's not little trinkets and paperwork that really count in life. I've got... got... Well, I've got a really pointy hat. That's a start. Yes. A mysterious shape. A sinister shape. A shape fraught with... with... shapeness. It must be a plot element. Otherwise, there'd be a better label. An old wizard who grew a beard mostly because shaving cream costs tuppence a bag. Right, you are then. Ah, a swamp dragon, if my eyes don't deceive me. I thought these things were filled with explosive gas. <laughs> oh, right. Ah, let's see. Wildebeest baked in a poodle's eye sauce. Newt's liver pate with pickles and cream. Ex senior wrangler legs in garlic butter. I do hope that door gives a clear run to the latrine. Good day, sirs. Is it? <laughs> So you say, what with the bottom falling out of the tapioca market. He's off again, past the dried frog pills. Laugh away, you old boy valve. It's all this dragon business, that's what's doing it. Snatching tapioca out of the mouths of the deserving elderly. Dragons? Dragons in the town? A likely story. <laughs> Swamp dragons, he means? No, a real dragon. Not one of those little marsh tiddlers. Poppycock, there's no such thing. Dragons only exist if you believe in them. I don't believe in them, they don't believe in me. 
so we're both happy. Another busy day in the faculty, gentlemen? We are cogitating. I hope I heard that right, said in a knowing tone of voice, nudge nudge. Cogitating, my lad, is that process by which the wise make space inside their minds for more ideas. You make more space for ideas by sitting on your backside, sipping a cup of milky tea? Hit him. Hit him. My boy, ideas are normally sold by volume, not by weight. It's best to let them settle so you can find more room in the top. We have wisdom and you do not. For instance, this is the action of a clever man. so clever about writing down the word monkey. Wisdom, my lad, is never cheap. Well, I didn't know you were selling it by the pound. Excuse me, where might I go to find the patrician? Well... Don't be an idiot, boy. Just look for the palace. Is he approachable? Can you actually speak to him? Oh, yes. But he's a mean man with a word. Be careful if he uses sarcasm on you. And for heaven's sake, run for it if he resorts to... Ooh, irony. Does this place always have to be this way? What way? Well, this way. It's chaos. It's, it's undisciplined. It's as if I'm thrashing about in a sea of questions, like... Like I'm screaming out against soul-destroying winds. Isn't that a mixed metaphor? I mean, there are times when I dream about just shaking this place by the neck until it starts talking sense. I have one like that too. What, really? Oh, yes. In one magic moment, I stride like an intellectual giant across the rooftops of the world, slicing through the Gordian wass's name of fuzzy thinking for all time. And then I have this other terrific dream, that I'm being smothered in fruit yoghurt and sucked up inside a whale. Thankfully, that's not my problem. So far, anyway, we can but hope. Right, you are, then. So, you're the bursa. What does a bursa do, exactly? Well, it's a very important job. Accounts, expenditure, occasional bouts of irrationality, the assessment of grants. Well, it, it sounds a bit, well, boring, doesn't it? That's the job's main attraction, my surgical sock. These tenures are for life. So, since wizards are naturally extremely long-lived, that means the only way to get promoted is to assassinate your superiors. They've been popping off like mayflies around here for some seasons. <laughs> Sometimes we've got, wait for it, more wazards than wizards. <laughs> They're in no danger from me. I never really thought about promotion. Wazards, you see? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh well, my post is safe though. Who wants to claw their way up to the top only to become an accountant in a silly hat? Mark my words, folding trouser press. Survival is all a matter of identifying your proper niche. Preferably a niche well removed from anything anyone else finds desirable. <laughs> Right, well, don't be a stranger. Cheers. Hey! A girl. What's a girl doing in here? I'm not a girl. Why are you, why are you wearing a dress? It's a wizard's robe, not a dress. I knew a girl's dress once. Splendid lass. Very good at pickling. Yes, very good at pickling eels, she was. So, what happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. That's just the point. Now young twerps like you think they can come in here, rubbish our women and, and, and steal all our pickles. Steal? Now do I look like a thief? My stick. Uh, they all want my magic stick. Well, well you can't have it. So be off with you, you, you dastardly overcleaner. No, no, look, I don't want your wretched stick. So, so it's the pickles you're after then, is it? Mm, you devilish young trouser. 
Well, I'm on to you, you know. I'm on to you, you young bookcase. Now, look. This is not the problem that I wanted to address. Look, I just want to find somebody who can talk a little sense. Sense? Perfumes? Well, I'll not have it. No, sir, I won't. Dallying with women folk on the premises is against the rules. Otherwise, we'd, we'd, we'd all be doing it. You young bathrobe, I have you defrocked for this. Look, I haven't done a thing, honestly. What? Well, well, well uh, how can you be a man of the world if you've never sampled the finer things in life? <laughs> women, wizard staves, pickles. Well, if I go and do that, you said you'd defrock me. It won't do, it just won't do. You young tweezers like you coming in here and, and taking off their frocks. Well, I, I won't stand for it. I, 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 this city is getting into, into a fine old pickle. Oh, please don't get started on the pickles again. Pickles? Don't eat pickles if you're wearing a dress. You'll stay in the hem. Why are you wearing a dress? Well, I once knew a girl too, of course. Of course? Why are you off course? A young fella like you, you ought to be out and about, exploring a world of adventure. Wine, women and, and pickles. Look, I am out and about. Well, you can't be too good at it if you're already off course, young air freshener. Look, no one's off course. I just use the phrase as a pleasantry, a manner of address. Pickling? Oh, how fascinating. Pickled? Who's pickled? No one's pickled. You started it. I don't even like pickles. What? Oh, they were wonderful pickles. How dare you cast me, 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 me aspersions on them? On, 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 damn, I've, I've lost it. What were we talking about again? Um, pickles? What's pickled? What? Hmm? Well, what do you mean? Well, the eels were pickled, weren't they? What? Pickled elves? Damn, there he is. I told them to lock that liquor cupboard. Go on, boy, get after them. No, pickles, not pickled. Pickles? Oh, try the kitchen. Get out. Stop wasting my time. This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. I've absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. That doesn't work. Listen, one thing I've always meant to ask, these, uh, these dresses we wear, are they, um, are they strictly necessary? Eh? The robes, lad, are symbolic of our dedication. You see, this is not so much a calling, a, a profession, as a condition of mind. By wearing long robes, we imply a somnambulistic state. An attitude in which we walk dreamily through this world with our minds occupied by higher things. Higher? Like, say, as high as this hat? Well, the hat, too. Its height employs loftiness of thoughts. Or it might imply that we should have let our mothers keep on dressing us. What's more, it keeps young whippersnappers like you from running off. Eh? Would you want to walk the streets looking like a refugee from a somewhat suspicious pencil factory? Point taken. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. Actually, on close examination, this would seem to be some sort of subtropical arboreal ape. A magical accident in the library turned the librarian into an orangutan. He has since resisted all efforts to turn him back, much preferring the handy long arms, the prehensile toes, and the right to scratch himself in public.
May I take a book from the library, please? Walk, walk. Excuse me? Walk, walk, wee. I see. Um, I need something in order to take out a book. Walk, walk. Toothpaste? Fingers? Gloves? Something in your hand? Walk. A dentist? Halitosis? You want, you want some mouthwash? That's it. You want some mouthwash? I'm sorry, but I'm already spoken for. Oh, a library card. <laughs> Why didn't you say so in the first place? What happens if I just barge in without giving you a library card? Yes. Now, look, unfortunately, I don't have one, ape. Ooh. A, a ape pun. Yeah, upon my person. Yes, upon my person. Phew. I didn't say monkey. <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Hey! Whose monkey is this? <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? May I take a book from the library, please? Woo! Excuse me? I see. Woo! Toothpaste? Pick something in your hand? Woo! I I'm sorry. Woo! Oh! <laughs> what? what happens if. Yes. Woo! Hey. Phew. This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Ah. Let's not press this curiosity thing too far then, shall we? That doesn't work. Hmm. Sex magic. No wonder it's on ice. That doesn't work. Ha! Ah, ha ha! Yes, now, don't rush me. Ow! Yes, thought so. They're shelves. Oh. Well, this one's not a statue. I think this one used to be a frog out in the garden. Ah, well. He never should have asked to be turned into a handsome plinth. Well, he's cooking food. I suppose that means we have to call him a cook. Excuse me, but could I ask you some questions? Clear off! And no magic in the kitchen. One more spell goes off in this place, and I'm going to complain to the Arch Chancellor. Fascinating. Don't any of your pancakes get lost? What? From here? From my frying pan? You don't seem to realise the gravity of your accusation. 27 years I've been studying to be a cook's apprentice. I've got top marks for basic flipping left hand and right and batter stirring, pan greasing and pancake stacking. Oh, how many did you get for customer relations? 2%. Clear off. This is the worst kitchen I've ever seen. It would be worse if there were worst. What's worst? It's a what's name? Uh, a sausage. Worst sausage? No, if you want the worst sausage, try Dibblers. Oh, dear. So it's to be pans, is it? Just watch the pancakes for a while. It's very soothing. Are you always this surly? Not always. I even know a jolly joke. Really? Yes. What's ugly, hollow, and rings like a bell? I don't know. What? Look over there. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Well, I'll catch you later then.
Yes, well, art criticism was never a strong point of the University Trust. If it isn't young Brakewind. Rincewind, sir. Rincewind, quite. Come in. We need to talk. That is, I need to talk. And you listen. No doubt you've been hearing all sorts of rumors about this dragon that supposedly is terrorizing the town. Uh, uh dragon? As in the uh, classic, fire breathing, city toasting. Shut up! Yes, pretty much. Scaly, vain, like shiny objects, that species of kidney. And what we need to do is to ensure that the unseen university is properly represented in the attempts to dispose of it. If some yokel simply slays the wretched thing without our help, the people will begin to ask just what wizards are for. Actually, sir, what are wizards for? Wizards are firmly behind big dinners. And if you want to keep on eating yours, you'll go and see about this dragon. Surely, sir, dragons don't logically exist. Shut up! Dragons exist if you believe in them. And the average man in the street does believe them. Or at least believes in them enough to give us big rewards if they think we've gotten rid of the thing. Do you follow me? Not really. Shut up! Not interested in excuses. Too much sloppy thinking around here. Run down to the library and fetch me a copy of Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lairs. Once we've read that, we'll know how to track the scaly blighter down. You still here? Standing around like something unhygienic? Do it now! Excuse me, my dear sir, could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lairs? <coughs> I see. <coughs> yes. Me, uh, yes, I suppose so. <coughs> mm-hmm. Quite. Look, is there someone else here that I can speak to? <coughs> well, you know, someone who isn't a monkey. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Whoop, whoop, whoop. No, I'll come back and get a book later. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yes, I've given up. No, no not gibbon, monkey. Ape! Oh, damn! <coughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Here, boy. Here, luggage. Hmm. Fruit with its own wrappings.
that doesn't work. Excuse me, my dear sir, could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lairs? Excellent. Good lad, Brainwind. Rinse winds up. Ah, we now have the formula to construct Reclamento's never-failing Dragon's Lair revealer. With the device in our hands, we'll be able to trap the creature and trap it like a wildebeest. You mean like a rat, sir? Really? Well, it could be. That'd be easier, certainly. You've got a good firm grasp of facts. I like that in a wizard. Go forth and fetch the elements we need to construct this device. I'll see that your performance is brought to the attention of the university board when we review your grant next year. And we may only harm it, for example. <laughs> Sir, I've ever told you of my ambition to be a yak. It could be arranged, Rincewind. Just ask the librarian. Now get a move on. We need a stuff of tumultuous turbatagy. A spiral of never-failing induction. A miniature creature of excitable chitters. And a container made of the strongest ferrous metal. Oh, is that all? Well, uh, a sample of breath from the subject in question is necessary. Dragon's breath? Yes. Any problems with that? No? Good. Well, don't just stand there. Off you go! How do you open the gate? They've changed the wasp names. The hand wriggles. It's a whole new spell. So show me the new spell. Can't. The spell's a secret. The hand wriggles, please. Yeah, yeah, right. Look, you just wiggle them like this. Like this. Now try it like that. Like this. Right you are, son. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'd like a nice lie down. But what about the gate? Aren't you going to guard it? Oh, who gives up, monkeys? <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cart? 
Nice weather. Since classes in wind whistling, rain making and lightning throwing are all scheduled for today, I think that's being a wee bit premature. So, this is it. You just... you just stand here all day getting a wage for eating prunes? Certainly. Someone's got to do it. It's a plum job. What's that you're eating then? Prunes. Just a little nourishment to tide me through till lunchtime. Can I have one before I go? Having one before you go is the whole point of prunes. And no, you can't. Well, I'll catch you later then. Bisected by the River Ank, the city of ank Morpok is the oldest existing city on the Discworld. It is really two cities, Proud Ank, Turnwise of the River, and Pestilent Morpork, on the Wildershin side. Although the pestilence is quite democratic and in fact covers most of the city, it is said that all roads lead to ank Morpork. but this is in fact incorrect. The truth is that all roads lead away from Ankh Morpork. Is he one? One what? One of them. What? With a whip? Yes. One of them. Probably he's wearing a hat. No, I, I'm not standing for it. Young man, are you one of them? Look, um, I'm not exactly sure what you... Yes or no? Oh, all right. Yes, then. He doesn't walk like one. It's hard to tell in that dress. Ah, I think I can see how this is going. Um, it's a case of humorous misunderstanding, yes? Sorry, what's that? I'm not going to fall for it. I shouldn't think so, in that dress. You see, you're just taking perfectly ordinary remarks and trying to make some kind of joke out of them. Oh, come on. There's not much to laugh at in our job. I can see that. We need a bit of fun. This might not be much, but it's better than being up to your knees in blood. What are your jobs? Ooh, we're heroes, mate. You? That made me laugh. You just said we didn't. I mean, you? Killing dragons? Oh, we've killed dozens of them in our day. And if you think you're a hero too, you'll want to find the dragon. So off you go. No point wasting any time. You didn't see me wasting any time when I took out the dreaded Temple of Ofla. One of them? Well, it depends who's asking. Who? Why, it's us, the rootinest, tootinest, shootinest. Hats and whips. Uh, and gold. Inside temples. What? Missionaries? No, the other ones. Nasty natives with spiders and snakes. <sighs> Yuck! So you mark my words. Look, I think you should probably all just start again. You listen up, young fellow. We are all legendary heroes here. So keep your ears open and you might learn a thing or two. Incidentally, on a point of detail, we only root and shoot. We never toot. Well, hardly ever.
I? It's all depending on his destiny. I'm the kind of man that went out and made his own destiny. What out of? Would you? Come again? Well, you, you carve a destiny, don't you? Could be made of ivory. Oh, I can't get the elephants these days. How's about iron? Then you could forge a mighty destiny. Too heavy. It has to be wood. What? There we are, young man. Your destiny should be made of wood. Don't go to the desert, though. It'll get termites, and then you'll have a holy destiny. Had to struggle a bit for that one. Sorry. Most certainly not. I've never been one of them. He doesn't look like one of them. He's wearing a dress. It's the best way to tell. Ah, well, if you're... That doesn't work. Wanted for arson. Suspect approximately three tons, 200 feet long, scaly. Wanted dead. Definitely dead. Reasonable reward. Lost. Small dog. Answers to the name of Gaspode. Talks too much. If found, keep. Counterwise wine tasting at Bear Huggers Wineries. Please bring bucket to winery the day before you arrive. Dragon detector, sir. Hey, what? Can I interest you in a dragon detector, sir? I'll only charge a cost price, a single shilling. I'm cutting my own throat. A dragon detector? How does it work? Easy as pie, sir. This rod has a piece of wood tied to the end. When you get close to a dragon, the wood turns to ash. How close? Uh, very well, you caught me there, Governor. A slight design flaw. Tell you what, I'll halve the price. Two shillings and it's yours. I'm cutting my own front. Care to buy? No. But you never even heard my pitch. I thought I'd save time. We can go back and try it from the top if you'd like, sir. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. Interest you in a free sample, sir? Not on your Nelly. Mm, what's that smell? That's the honey pot, sir. Honey pots? That doesn't smell like honey. Well, actually, that's a metaphor, sir. What's a metaphor? Well, in this case, sir, it's for covering up some unpleasant aspects of life what don't normally make for polite conversation. For instance, if I say here, sir, may I interest your son in an apprenticeship as a collector of honey buckets? You might stop and listen. Whereas, if I asked you if you minded if your son helped me with collecting crap... Yeah, yeah, well, quite. So, you're a sewerage collection man, is that it? Well, we in the industry prefer the term... Effluent redistribution technician, quite. Look, all joking apart, what in Offler's name is this thing? That, sir, that is your actual patented sewerage purification plant. Self-powered elastic belt propulsion. This thing heralds in a whole new age, sir. 
the mind truly boggles. So it um it purifies sewerage, does it? That's right, sir. Meaning it takes raw sewerage and then produces pure sewerage, sir. The essence, as it were. I see. Show me good. Well, um, I suppose I'll just leave you to it. Always here whenever you need me, sir. Right you on him. I don't get horribly burned to death by any monsters or anything. Ah, uh, morning, Jimmy. Fine day for it. For what? Oh, for whatever innocent folk like we can find to do up here on the rooftops. Have you ever fallen down? Oh, yes, sir. Ah, oh, tons of times. Well, if you don't want a repeat performance, try shutting up. Ah, uh, the day is coming when people like you will have to look up to folk like me. Probably easiest from the ground, then. What? Looking up at you, I mean. Probably easiest when done from the ground. Actually, I think I might just get in a little looking up at you right now, in fact. I'll just go down to street level in a quiet, orderly fashion then, shall I? Assassin training track. Well, I suppose they have to be taught somewhere. Let's keep track of that. Let's keep track. From the Assassin's Guild, I presume. Did you get the number of that donkey cart? So, anyway, how's the wife? Oh, not so bad. How's yours? Oh, doing well, doing well. We thought we might invite you two around for dinner tomorrow night. I've made a chocolate cake. Strawberry pudding and duck's foot casserole with leaf mould. Leaf mould? Oh, sorry. Uh, did I say leaf mould? Um, I meant caramel. Anyway, there'll be lashings of everything. You know the wife. She likes to cook. Yeah, but is this a good idea? I thought she was watching her weight. Well, why should she watch her weight? Well, you know, after last time, when she accidentally ate that camel, Oh, she's not overweight. She's just, uh, oh, she's just cuddly. Yeah, cuddly. Very, very cuddly. With humps. So, um, how's your wife, then? Did she get that thing off her face? Thing? What thing? Uh, the hairy thing. That's a beauty spot, that is. Oh, oh I see. A bit long for a beauty spot, isn't it, though? I mean, in area. Look. 
moustaches are supposed to be a sign of sensuality. What, on women? Listen, are you calling my wife ugly? No! Good. I'd have been ever so cross if you did. Clear off! Shut up, sit down, no talking. If you're mad, you don't want to run around infecting everybody else. Uh, so, uh, this world you cannot stand. Uh, tell me how it makes you feel. Whoa! Ah, yes. Yes, yes, I see. A case of latent aggression, no doubt. Woo! Woo! Now, I, I want you to relax and tell me about your innermost feelings when I say the word in question. Woo! That's it, that's it. Now, here we go. Monkey. Hmm. Vague, Trolls Weekly, Hovel Beautiful, Popular Siege Engineering. I hate waiting room magazines. Diploma, Honours Pass. Cut me own throat, Dibbler's Correspondent Schools. Psychi Trickery, Grade 1. Hm. Well, at least local mental health is in good hands. Yes, yes, probably as good a place for him as any. The art of signposting is apparently long, long dead. Background colour. Gad, but there's no expense spared in this place. Ah, now clearly, this is a Hublander Amazon warrior. This is easily told by her costume, the set of her sword, the characteristic goblin like accoutrements, the firm musculature, firm musculature, powerful, unbridled, straining against the taut fabric. Mere textile, scarcely able to contain the ripe, majestic swelling of a... What are you staring at? What? Greetings, O oh noble warrioress. Greetings, O oh pointy-hatted elf. Hey. It is I, Red Sorkum, chosen avatar of the goddess Mothra. I've come to Ankh Morpork seeking adventure. I've sworn myself to the quest, and may give myself in marriage only to the man who can equal me in combat. You what? Are you in much demand? Well, yes, apparently. Under the terms of the geese, I'm supposed to suffer no insult from any man. Which unfortunately includes wolf whistles, lingering looks, and even passing thoughts of attraction. Which would be all right, but they insist that I wear this get-up. Standard heroin issue. By the way, geez is an archaic word, meaning something like obligations. I really don't want to hear any more jokes about birds. Inconvenient. It's ever so cold. So, uh, do many people actually just... just want to try and marry you? Oh yes, happens all the time. Well, I suppose I encourage it, really. I mean, it's been ten years, and a girl has to settle down someday. They've been lining up in the taverns ever since I got here. I've been killing people non-stop since half past ten. Ah, so, um, just tell me a bit with this one. In order to get engaged to you, they have to... to... Match swords with me, yes. To the death? Yes. Sounds dangerous. Actually, it's more boring than dangerous. Well, at least from my point of view. Other girls get to debauch with barbarians, and all I get is two-way conversations with the gods. Really? Well, it's not as if Mothra, goddess of stepland, storms and destroyer of cardboard cities, really has anything much to say. I mean, there's the occasional quest aspect of things, but more often than not it just means chopping up some mothballs or getting her a nice rug for tea. I suppose there is a lot of posing, and the chainmail bikinis are nice, but it doesn't fill up a Saturday night if you know what I mean. You, uh, do know what I mean, don't you? Sure, I know what you mean. Mothra even gave me this magic sword, said it was to keep me safe. Bitch, every time I meet some halfway likeable man, I have to kill him. Well, can't you stop it? Well, no, it's a magical curse, you see. 
For instance, if I even suspected that you found me attractive, I'd be forced to do something really totally unpleasant. Probably involving spleens. Spleens? It's an organ. Not sure what it does apart from ooze green. Yeah. Yeah, ooh, yeah, yeah, well, I, I quite understand. Um, good thing I don't fancy you then, eh? I'm ever so pleased. Of course, I feel a lot more comfortable with you in a dress. So, where are you from? The Hublands. Hublands? At the middle of the disc. It's where all the barbarians live, but you don't see many of them about. They're all too shy. Shy? Shy hordes? Well, they get bad press, you see. Well, only because they crush civilizations, burn cities, and have a thing for the lamentations of women. They're just enthusiastic. Boyish high spirits. Oh, oh, I see. All that nailing people to doors and setting fire to them is just a way of letting off steam, yes? Yes, they don't mean anything by it. It's just their way of saying hi. Well, goodbye. Well, if you must have a tax collector, why not keep him where you can always find him? It's a frame-up. Pardon? They can't do this to me. I'm the tax collector. That explains it, then. This isn't funny. I can't believe this. Maybe you should take stock of your situation. Uh, now, listen. Too bad. Now, your reputation has gone to rack and ruin. <laughs> Still, I suppose it's torture lesson. <laughs> torture. Get it? Not a good pun, but then what is? Everyone's a comedian, except you, mister. Help! What? You're the tax collector, aren't you? What are you doing in there? Begging without a permit. I asked some old codger for money, and he blew the whistle on me. Next thing you know, they got me in here. This is harassment in the course of duty, I tell you. Let me out of here! They can't do this to me! I'm the tax collector! Uh, has someone collared your market? Watch it! Must be what they call a tax squeeze, innit? Oof, and do I think I'm up? Very funny. I remember you, pencil head. I have a perfect... I have a perfect thingy. Begins with M. You know, I'll never forget. Forget what? Faces! My business relies on my memory for faces. They must be your stock in trade. <laughs> No, I already have a money pouch, thank you. Are you sure? Stolen? The damn thing's been stolen! Good thing I was at hand with a replacement then, innit, sir? Wait a minute. This looks exactly like my money pouch. You see, sir? You'll hardly even know your old pouch was gone. That's service for you. <laughs> now, look. Did you just steal this? Oh, don't look at me, sir. I'm just a lovable street urchin, I am. Urchin? Yeah, you know, one of them hard things that lives on seaside rocks. The ones that end in points. It's a starfish, isn't it? Is it? Oh, it's a, I'm a lovable street starfish, then. <laughs> Sounds a bit fishy to me. I'm just keen to get you to shell out, Gov. Like a second pouch, sir. Just as a reserve, so to speak, in case the worst should happen. Look, if it's not too much to ask, how did you do that? What? Give away a trade secret? Tell me how you do it or I'll turn your spleen into a tank of sea monkeys. <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Oh, well, when you put it that way, Gav. Look, it's easy. Just practice on those old guys over there and get your handy.
Shut up, sit down, no talking. If you're mad, you don't want to run around infecting everybody else. <sighs> ibble, ibble, egg, egg. I'm sorry? The eyes, the eyes, the awful knowing eyes. What's happened to you? I couldn't take it. Thumping, not thumping. My brain's gone potty. Ah! Get them off me. They're all green. Excuse me, I seem to be in the wrong conversation. The wibble. Yes, look, let's not pursue that, shall we? It's very delicate, you know. How do you change voices like that? Change it like what? You did it just then. It's called bucketing. Channeling? No, bucketing. It's like channeling, only it doesn't drain away afterwards. It all just sort of sloshes around in there and dribbles out at random. The winter evenings must just fly by. Who, me? Remove stains while it disinfects. Makes whites brighter than bright. Look, I'm afraid I can't handle this right now. Millennium hand and shrimp. If you'll excuse me, I believe I'm needed somewhere else. This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Shut up, sit down, no talking. If you're mad, you don't want to run around infecting everybody else. And verily shall he bellow forth the ten sacred names of the Forbidden Dawn. Hello. Go away. I am a monk of the Temple of Offla. Temple of Offal? Offla. I am guardian of the Sacred Eye, Lord High Vicar of the other not-so-sacred eye, and Grand Trilobite of the Cenopod. You must be taller than you look. Silence! Be gone or else feel the wrath of the mighty Offler and the toe-biting knights of the holy emasculation! Have all the teddy bears in the window got fangs? Greetings, shopkeeper. Good day, sir. Can I interest you in our toys? There's today's special, an amusing line of bells and whistles. Or there's Violent Bob, the doll with a face you can rip clean off. Eh? It's very therapeutic. I'm sure. The sort of thing you can share with your brothers. Brothers of evil, walking arm in arm across the rooftops of the world. Are you all right? Pardon? Oh, oh yes, yes. Never felt better. So, can I help you at all, sir? Anything special catch your eye? Oh, no. Just browsing. Browsing? Yes. Not 
not plotting. Definitely not. Not secretly planning the overthrow of the patrician and the total dominance of the city? No, no, not at all. Oh, damn. Why do you ask, sir? Browse away. Is this fish fresh? 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 One of them just made a pass at me wife, sir. What's that under your arm? What's what? That fish, that enormous swordfish. It's a swordfish, sir. I can see that. Nothing wrong with your eyesight, is there, sir? Wizards are fine people, no matter what everyone else says. I don't get horribly burned to death by any monsters or anything. Yes, and ooh, look, he's displaying a, a sort of machine. A sort of... with clamps and drill bits. Oh, dear. I wonder why she smells of brimstone. Leave that hair roller alone. Well, at least I suppose it's a hair roller. Is that a curler in your hair? Impudent wretch, of course it is. Just ask him. So, it's uh, definitely a roller then. What? In your hair. A hair roller. Well, of course it is. If it wasn't a roller, then why would it be there? Uh, you wouldn't, um... Wouldn't what? You wouldn't say it's a bit, a bit, uh, unusual at all? Good heavens, no. Right, you are then. Oh, so you're having your hair set in a traditional style? Traditional? With rollers and curls. Oh, yes, it should look very quaint. Quaint? Well, yeah, well, well, a busy woman like yourself can't always be expected to keep up with the new trends. What? Don't be absurd. Barbara, I shall have my hair set straight. A very wise choice, madam. Hello there. Mm? Oh, hello. I suppose it's quite a sensuous sort of job then, playing with women's hair all day. Oh, not really. Not with the type of women we get in here. No silken locks, no golden magic drifting beneath my scissors. Nothing like my wondrous little milkmaid. Hmm. Featherwinkle's concise compendium of dragon's lairs. Detect dragons from a comfortable distance or your money back. Arms, sir. Arms for the poor. 
should I give you money? Well, it's your traditional medieval street transaction, isn't it, Gov? It's an expected part of your fantasy environment. You're saying that you're just here to add a little bit of colour? Authenticity, Gov. Authenticity. Well, wouldn't it be better if you actually looked the part? I mean, just look at you. Why? What do you mean? What's wrong with it? Well, it's pathetic. I mean, a beggar, by definition, has to be pitiable, doesn't he? I mean, why should someone give him money if he's as hale and hearty as any other geezer on the street? Oh. Oh, yeah. I think I see what you mean, sir. Right. Well, carry on. Right you are, then. So, you're, uh, uh, a... Uh, a dwarf, sir, that's right. Don't let the height fool you. Look, I haven't done anything to you. Why don't you just leave me alone? Well, I'm, I'm a guard, sir. A guard has to... to... To what? Well, well, to guard, sir. I mean, we have to watch out for theft, sir. Does that have to involve harassing me? Well, you are the potential suspect, sir. Why do I have to be a suspect? Couldn't I be... Well, stock in trade. Stock in trade? Well, instead of harassing me, you could just take a quick look every now and then to make sure I haven't been stolen. Good thinking, sir. If you are ever stolen, I shall report it to you at once. Well, I'll just move along then, shall I? Fine. Evening all. Now, Nobby, do I book him now? What for? Um, loitering with intent. Paragraph 7, subsection 3. Lurking, loitering and vending without due course. Oh, Carrot, give it a rest. Take a walk. Who are you people, anyway? We're the city guard, mister. What, all two of you? Three of us. There's me and the sergeant, who's a bit under the weather, as account of making an arrest of a large quantity of lager. Then there's the kid, Carrot. The boy's going to be a full member soon. Marvellous. We're on patrol. There's been a few thefts around here lately. Strange things going missing. Little knickknacks all over town. Almost as if someone's been swallowing them. You don't know anything about it, do you? What? Oh, goodness me, I never heard of any such thing in all my life. Well, we thought we might patrol our way over to the Broken Drum. Then we might patrol our way over to the inn. Then there's a few wine cellars whose doors definitely need checking. I see. So, what are you up to then? I'll just move along then, shall I? Fine. I'd need a very good reason before I'd go into the Shades. The Shades is an area where curiosity not only kills the cat, but ties lead weights to its feet and throws it in the river. New Improved Wonder Grow grows anything. New Instant Formula. Hmm. I don't think you should pay him any attention. That's love, that is. Pulling up with an old bag of a wife. What? 
Well, your friend here was saying how massively unattractive your wife actually is. No, just mostly unattractive. I'm sure she's actually got inner beauty. Help! Last time I saw a ring as big as that, there were druids dancing round it. Clever. We didn't see whoever's in the bath. Thank Offler for small mercies. Eye makeup, rouge, hair cream, all seems a bit dandified if you ask me. Ah, the jumbo size. Love those lampwicks. Yes, that will be the tower in the town square. I never did like post-dynastic architecture much. A bit slippery, is it? It's fine, I assure you. Maybe you'd better just spit on your hands. That's gonna make it even slipperier, isn't it? It might be worth a try. But then I'll slip and die. Is that really so bad, philosophically speaking? It is from where I stand, yes. Death does have its positive aspects, you know. It's easy to do lying down. Also, have you ever considered the saving on food, rent, and clothing? Are you saying that this is my appointed time to die? Well, since you put it like that, no. But I thought, there he is. And I'm happening to be passing, you know. It's a kind of outreach policy. If it's all the same, I'd rather wait. Oh, if you insist. I'll see you later. How much later? Don't start reading any long books. Wizards have the honor, albeit a dubious one, of being claimed personally by death. Not only that, but wizards can actually see and talk with death. Despite rumors to the contrary, he is not a cheery dinner companion.
Mm. Ooh. Magnificent. Now get out there and slay them. That doesn't work. Eureka! I found it. Finally, it works. My octocellulose has been perfected. What works? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing works at all. Oh, go on. You were saying something right now. No, I wasn't. It was all about octo-something. Shh! Not so loud. All right. Put wizard's oath on this. You have to swear to keep all this a secret. Oh, all right. Well? Well what? Well? Let's hear it then. It's a secret oath. I promise I won't listen. No, that's no good. Tell you what, I'll have to say it in mime. Well, you can't say fairer than that. Anyway, here, before you, you see a new age in entertainment with my new octocellulose I'll revolutionize the world. Think of it. Pictures that move. Eh? My fortune is made. Moving pictures will soon be the talk of the age. You've been standing too close to the boiling mercury again, haven't you? Every true genius has his vice. It helps us to get ahead. Putting your head in a vice is the best idea you've had all day. Moving pictures? How does it work? Well, the strips of octocellulose are transparent. When you paint on them and shine light through from behind, it projects a picture onto a wall. You just run the strip through a box filled with gears and springs. It's a bit noisy. The clicking noise is all part of the atmosphere. What paints the pictures? There's an imp inside this box. All I do open up the window and the imp makes the pictures. He paints the frames as fast as I can wind the strips past him. An imp, eh? Hmm. Anyway, what are you going to call this new system? Nah, I'm... I'm not sure. Well, it's easy enough. What is their most unique characteristic? They're moving pictures that click. Well, there you go. Call them that. Of course. Clickies! Thank you. Clickies? Leave the camera alone. Looks like a little home for a very little creature. Maybe it's a little home. A cable release. I wonder what it releases. Maybe it's a little home.
that doesn't work. Hmm, the world just swims with possibilities. What's in here then? Looks like cooking oil. Indoor plumbing. Now, whoever said Ank More Pork lacked all the mod cons? There are some things best left unknown. That looks a bit hot. Someone should do something about that. This leads to the alleyway, if memory serves correct. No flies on me. Ah, it contains corn. Funny little blighter. to a common house mouse, if I'm not mistaken. You're not mistaken. That doesn't work. Greetings. Yeah, hello. Are, are you? Uh, uh, it begins with a T. Um, a, a troublemaker. No. No. Why do you ask? Oh, well, I bored. See, 
you dats to go inside and be a bouncer. You have to wait minutes sometimes for the decent fight. It's it too quiet. Standing here with nothing to do. I get so bored in sometimes. I hit me own head for just something to do. I mean, unless someone actually asks you to thump them, there's nothing to do except wait. You're paid for this? Yeah. Yeah, I just do. Uh, 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 begins with a T. Thump people. What? At random? Oh, I don't use no complicated stuff like at random. Oh, I just thump people what cause trouble in the bar, you see. Sounds like a better idea. Saves wear and tear on the knuckles. Only thing is the boredom. It's almost uh, as if I hear people asking to be thumped. I might change me job to just thumping anybody who comes by. <laughs> Taking things too far. Well, it's quite a jump. I'm sorry. When you say that, I, 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 I thought you, you say thump. Sorry, it's one of them mistaken identity thingies. Is your head all right? <laughs> did you get the number of that donkey cart? It didn't hit you too hard, did I? Yeah, thank you, Mother. Oh, I'm fine. It's just a little lump. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> there I go again. A creature of impulse. <laughs> You look a bit seedy. Are you all right? Oh, oh, I, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going into a bit of a slump. <laughs> oh, so, sorry, sorry. Oh, where can I put my face? See, when you say that, I, I, I thought you say... Yeah, mm, uh, excuse me, I think I hear someone calling. And you gentlemen are... The Hublanders are being... Yeah, Hublanders. You maybe want to fight? What? No, 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 I don't want to fight. Not with anyone who oils his nipples, anyway. Uh, why'd you ask? Is very dull city. We won't be back. Yeah, it's too quiet. Last night we killed a little here and a little there, just indoors. I think maybe you kill twice in street, too. Yeah, I kill someone in street. Only not much. Then we get bored and go out looking for a proper fight. You want fight? No, no, we have in fact been over this material before. Maybe we get fight here later when crowd get drunk. Yeah, you want us? Just turn your glass over. We pulverize your skull and squish your guts. Yeah, look, um, I'll just make a note of that. Excuse me, I think I have an astonishingly urgent need to be elsewhere. Well, I'll catch you later then. No! Go away! No ghosts! No ghosts! Relax, son. I'm a wizard. Let me buy you a drink. So, um, what's all this about ghosts then, old son? In my room, a vile creature from the nethermost depths. It took me gate pass and then it just left. Oh, I'll never forget the horror. Gate pass? Hmm. You said you'll never forget. As in, you could give me a detailed account, blow by blow, so to speak? Well, yes. Oh, just for the record, so to speak. Mind if I take all of this down? Well, shouldn't I lie on a couch or something? Feel free. Would it improve matters? Nah. Tell me about this gate pass. Gate pass? Sorry, did I say gate pass? Uh, tell me about this ghost. Oh, it was horrible. There it stood, all swirling and all spectral, a veritable vision straight out of the dungeon dimensions. It burst straight out of the doorway. I've got a weak heart, I have. I fainted clean away. 
are fainted without seeing anything, like the activities of this ghost, for instance? No, nothing. Well, I saw nothing except it reached below my jewel box. Get the letter opener from the secret compartment beneath, then open the letter I'd hidden under the mattress, read the note inside, and use the combination in the note to open up the safe. But apart from that, you remember nothing? That's right. When I came to, my city pass was gone. Busy night? No, not particularly. Why? Just wondering, what is there to drink? Well, it's all a matter of suiting the clientele, friend. What do you think the sort of person who frequently frequents this bar would like to have for his drinkies? What'll it be? Hmm. Is this one of those tough, brutal bars? Yeah. Not through actual planning, mind. I mean, it just sort of develops. Then I'll have the usual. Uh, a glass of gin served at room temperature with a human air in it, please. Ah, yeah. I've just checked, and uh, we're all out of gin. Hmm. Whiskey? Um, no. Rice wine? Perno? Absinthe? Scumble? No. Old Bow Bender Stout? I think it's off, sir. Off? How can stout go off? It kills bacteria. You can clean privies with it. Well, it's more sort of uh, settled, sir. All the black colouring sort of swimming round the bottom. Same things happen to the elderberry wine. Well, I say the same thing, but it's more like lumpy. <laughs> it's probably all right, though. Ah, thank you. So, what have you got that hasn't got lamps in it? Oh, tons of stuff. Incidentally, sir, I don't know if you've noticed that rather impromptu pun there. <laughs> rather good, I thought. Uh, it could have meant tons, T-U-N-S, type of barrel, or, or tons, T-O-N-S, in its colloquial usage meaning lots. Yeah, 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 very, very good, yeah. So, you've got lots, then? Uh, well, no, not really. <laughs> so, is there anything here to drink today? Well, yes, sir. It is a bar. I mean, not much use having a bar if there's no actual beer being served here. Today, we have beer actually on tap. That doesn't smell like beer. That smells like Zynemouth's Lacantar Splenetic Emollient. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it's very similar to beer, sir. Similar? It's one of the most deadly prescription medicines ever devised by man. How can it possibly be similar? Well, it is a liquid, sir. Well, I'm not touching it. I'll just have a glass of water, please. What? As in water taken from the River Ank? <laughs> You're braver than I thought. Ah. I see your point. Well, give us a Zynemouth Lacantar Splenetic Emollient, then, please. I'll hang on to this myself.
Reversing gravity is the last straw. I've had it. I'm off to complain. Spells, wizards, anti-gravity. It's unnatural, that's what it is. So who pays for it, I say? Me, that's who. Up the stairs to complain, then back down to the kitchen. Up and down, up and down, like a... Like a... Like what kids play with on a string. A kite? What? Yes, that's the one. Up and down these stairs like a kite. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. This handle on this butterfly net has a hollow end. Let's see. Smooth, irregular, smells of paraffin. I wonder what it could be. New Jiffy Brill Instant Starch. Stiffens anything. <laughs> you never know when that might come in useful. Illumination? How marvellous! We have all the comforts of home. Large that doesn't work. Skeletus hoticus. Yes, I've seen one of these before. Ah, so it was ice cream for dinner yesterday, eh? Fruit with its own wrappings. That doesn't work.
A golden banana? Psst. Hey, buddy. Who, me? Have you ever thought about the advantages of owning land on the Fremen Wanger Peninsula? Isn't that all underwater? That's just its advantage, friend. Think of it, a seaside retreat where the sea can actually be the one total dominating element of the view. What's that banana doing in your ear? Now that's my special ticket into the library. It can get you into the shelves, it can get you any special service from the librarian you want. There's only one of these in existence. Yeah, but why is it in your ear? The mystic nature of the universe is not to be discussed idly. Let us say that with our thoughts we make the world, and that reality is only as we perceive it to be. Like dragons? Uh-huh, could be. So why is that banana in your ear? What banana? Look, I've had enough of this. How much do you want for it? For what? For the banana! It's not for sale. Not for all the gold in the kingdom, buddy. Not for all the gold in the kingdom. Oh, really? No, not really. I mean, bring me all the gold in the kingdom and the banana's yours. What's that banana doing in your ear? Now that's my special ticket. It can get you- There's only- Yeah, but- The mystic- Like dragons? Uh-huh. So what? What banana? Look. For what? For the ban- It's not for- Not for- Oh, really? No, not really. I mean- What's that under your coat? Hourglasses. Care to buy an hourglass? Where did you get all of those? Fell off the back of a donkey cart, sir. Right, well, don't be a stranger. Cheers. There's work to be done. No time for idle chatter. Well, sorry. As if I can help who supplies my voice. Say no more. That's good, but, but off with you. There's still more work to be done. That's good, but, but, but off with you. There's still more work to be done. That's good, but, but, but off with you. There's still more work to be done. With you, there's still more work to be done. Excellent! Well done, that man. Now that you've finished all the tedious work, all we need is a truly heroic wizard to actually trace them there and take all of the gold and glory. Breakwind, you may go and try to do something useful around here. No more big dinners for slackers. Right, well, I'll just, uh, just slink off down this corridor, shall I? Yes, good day, rinse water. And you'll, uh, you'll handle the gold. I mean, the, the dragon. You'll just, um, you'll just take care of everything. Yes, 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 yes quite right. Perhaps I should volunteer to assist, sir, having had hands-on experience in your actual dragon-locating equipment. Don't be a ridiculous man. We need someone of character and virility, of strength and 
Guile. Someone, in short, who is not you. Uh, what has a hundred eyes, drinks blood, and is bright purple? Good grief, boy. How should I know? Well, there's one there right behind you. I hope that's not a valuable run. Ugly, I don't, of course, mean lacking in considerable wit, charm, charisma, attractiveness, teeth, claws. Hush. Yes, sir. I'm shutting up now, sir. I am angered, little man. I am angered and I am sorrowful. An evil brotherhood has pulled me from my ancient place of rest and have bent me to their will. I am being used for evil ends. They are inside my head. I cannot stand it. I am not naturally an evil creature. I wish only to return to my home dimension. Seek out this evil brotherhood and destroy the spells that control me, or else they shall force me to kill again. I cannot fight off their powers much longer. Ah, yes, well... How do I break this spell? You must uncover the secret brotherhood. Each of them must, must own a golden artifact. Six artifacts used to summon me here. Bring the golden trinkets to me, and I can sever the brotherhood's control over my mind. Yes, but where do I find this brotherhood? You said that it was secret. Seek out the one who stole the Book of Dragon Summoning from the Unseen University Library. He shall lead you to the others. Well, um, I, I suppose I'd better get out and get on with the job then. <laughs> oh, by the way, they really are building me up for a major rampage. If you fail to stop them, you will probably end up gritting down someone's path next winter. Ah, uh, right. Gotcha. Hey, buddy. Who, me? Have you ever thought about the advantages of owning land on the Fremen Wanger Peninsula? Isn't that all underwater? That's just its advantage, friend. Think of it, a seaside retreat where the sea can actually be the one total dominating element of the view.
What's that banana doing in your ear? Now that's my special ticket into the library. It can get you into the shelves. It can get you any special service from the librarian you want. There's only one of these in existence. Yeah, but why is it in your ear? The mystic nature of the universe is not to be discussed idly. Let us say that with our thoughts we make the world, and that reality is only as we perceive it to be. Like dragons? Uh-huh, could be. So why is that banana in your ear? What banana? Look, I've had enough of this. How much do you want for it? For what? For the banana! It's not for sale. Not for all the gold in the kingdom, buddy. Not for all the gold in the kingdom. Oh, really? No, not really. I mean, bring me all the gold in the kingdom and the banana's yours. Right, well, don't be a stranger. Cheers. Here you are, then. What? You mean this? This is actually all the gold in the kingdom? Yeah. Well, technically we're a democracy, you know. One man, one vote. The patrician's got the vote because he's the man. But that's all the gold, yeah. Definitely. Would I lie? Oh, fine. Fine. I, it's just, I never thought you'd actually... Uh, never mind. Is it all right? I mean, you haven't changed your mind or anything? Mm? Uh, no, no. Can I have my banana, then? Uh, oh, uh sure. Here. Right, yeah, right. Uh, right you are, then. <laughs> I'll just, uh, I'll just go off with all the gold in the uh, dictatorially democratic regime, then, shall I? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Die horribly somewhere. Smells a bit funny, this bed. Hmm, it's got that ring of confidence. Eau de Toinette. I've always felt there was something rather unwholesome about dabbing one's face with toilet water. Thank you. 
What a smell! Ugh. And those flies! The apprentice's luncheon seems to be coming on rather well. That doesn't work. What's that? Oh, I have to say the secret librarian's oath. Oh, is that all? What happens if I ever reveal the words to an outsider? Oh, oh yeah, I see. Actually, I... I never even knew you could do that with an entire 16-volume encyclopedia. Worst things happen at sea. On some ships, I suppose. shift it. No, I am not looking in there. Thank you. 
Smells a bit funny, this bed. That doesn't work. The old letter opener in the secret compartment in the box trick. What's this for then? Undercover correspondence? Aha. Uh -huh. This looks like the combination to a safe. Safe? Not for long, matey. Good, good. I'm sure I'll figure out what this is for. Oh, let's not be silly. Quaking little wretch, isn't he? Oh, let's not be silly. Oh, so that's where I slept it off. Odd stuff, this counterwise wine. That doesn't work. What's this then? Prove that you're a man. See Sally at the House of Negotiable Affection and ask for a special. You know, the tone of this place is really going downhill. It started at the bottom in the first place.
that doesn't work. Actually, I don't know if it's a good idea having a naked flame around this place. I'm not going to look into there. There are some things best left unknown. No, I'm not going to look into there. There are some things best left unknown. That doesn't work. Oh, please let this not be where he normally keeps his stock. What are you doing here? Therapy. The psychiatrist said I should try doing something useful with my hands. You mean as opposed to thumping people? Yeah. The magic just seems to have gone out of it. Well, goodbye. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> it's a lamp. Hopefully, it will brighten my future. What a lovely picture of the top three place cats in the annual Ankh-Morpork Cat Show. Mm, why, so it is. And worthy of considerable contemplation.
No ghosts! No ghosts! Relax, son. I'm a wizard. Let me buy you a drink. So, um, what's all this about ghosts then, old son? In my room, a vile creature from the nethermost depths. It took me gate pass and then it just left. Oh, I'll never forget the horror. Gate pass? Hmm. You said you'll never forget. As in, you could give me a detailed account, blow by blow, so to speak? Well, yes. Oh, just for the record, so to speak. Mind if I take all of this down? Well, shouldn't I lie on a couch or something? Feel free. Would it improve matters? Nah. Tell me about this gate pass. Gate pass? Sorry, did I say gate pass? Uh, tell me about this ghost. Oh, it was horrible. There it stood, all swirling and all spectral, a veritable vision straight out of the dungeon dimensions. It burst straight out of the doorway. I've got a weak heart, I have. I fainted clean away. Ah, oh, fainted without seeing anything? Like the activities of this ghost, for instance? No, nothing. Well, I saw nothing except it reached below my jewel box. Get the letter opener from the secret compartment beneath. Then open the letter I'd hidden under the mattress, read the note inside, and use the combination in the note to open up the safe. But apart from that, you remember nothing? That's right. When I came to, my city pass was gone. Tell me about this hammer thing. Did your ghost have a hammer? Uh, yes, yes, so he did. Um, what exactly did he do with it? He cracked open the jewellery box. Cracked it open? I thought it. Why? Well, my gate pass was inside, wasn't it? Old Uncle Benjamin. Old Uncle Benjamin's patent stain remover. Counter wires wine? Would it be the teensiest bit worth my while asking for some? Highly likely, sir. Well, could I have a glass of counter wires wine then? Hang on, sir. I'll just have a look. Yes? Sorry, sir. Just increasing the dramatic tension. Careful with your drink, it's a wee bit strong. Strong? I didn't feel a thing. It's counterwise wine. It's grown from a grape that grows backwards in time. It affects you before you drink it. <laughs> you must have had some mother of a hangover last night. Funny, I don't remember anything about last night. Oh, that bad, was it? Counterwise wine is made from grapes belonging to that class of flora, reannuals, that grow only in excessively high magic fields. Normal plants grow after the seeds have been planted. With reannuals, it's the other way around. Although reannual wine causes inebriation in the normal way, the ensuing hangover is thrust backwards in time. Hence the saying, have a hair of the dog that is going to bite you. That doesn't work.
The die's running! It's turning my skin all blue!
Oh dear, there's little pamphlets living in it. Keeper. Opener, keeper, what's it matter? Well, I don't have to open it to just anybody who turns up. You could be a spy. A spy? Well, it's a possibility. You could be a very clever spy wearing a very effective disguise. Open the blasted door. What's the password? All right. Lean closer. It's... Spoons, much better. Swordfish. Right? No. What? You didn't say Simon Says. Open the door or I'll kill you. Ah, the other password. Hello? Hail! Yes, hail, brother doorkeeper. Right, give me the password and I'll let you in. Oh, all right. Ah, let's see now. It's, it's blah, 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 spoons, blah, 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 swordfish, blah, blah, blah. Right. No. Hey, you didn't say Simon Says. Oh, Simon Says. OK. Welcome, or oh fellow brother of the elucidated brethren of the sword. Hail, brothers! Hail! 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 Oh, hail! Yay, right! Hail! And there are once again, we elucidated brethren of the sword are met. And there are once again, we shall weave the webs of power. For we know now that tis our destiny to rule this city. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Hail! hail. Yes. Once I thought it was my destiny to build a paper mache dinosaur in my bedroom. Then I thought it was my destiny to win the men's overland saxophone championships. But now I know, I finally know that it is my destiny to rule Ankh Morpork. Here, what about us then? In company with these, my loyal lack of uh, loyal comrades. A new age shall dawn, my friends. Hail! An age of power and majesty. Hail! An age of freedom, without indoor plumbing and the job losses it entails. Hail! A world where a man can carry out his legitimate wealth redistribution business without worrying about quotas. Hail! Where cheap replastering will be outlawed in favour of major structural reinforcement. Yay! A place where low mackerel sales will be a thing of the past. And compulsory smoke through cleanliness will be rigorously enforced. Hail! Brother Brigwit, Brother Broom, bring the tomb. Now, for the spell of power, Brother, Brother. Uh, pencil head. Oh, dark spirits of the universe. With this bowl, we do consecrate and, and, and so forth. Except now, these sacrifices, as we consign the potion to the flames, bring us the power of the dragon. Dragon, 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 dragon. Dragon, 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 dragon
The old letter opener in the secret compartment in the box trick. What's this for then? Undercover correspondence? Aha. Uh -huh. This looks like the combination to a safe. Safe? Not for long, matey. <laughs> this should get me out past those goons who guard the city gate.
Is he all right? Uh, malaria. Malaria? He's got a poison dart sticking out of him. Just ignore him. Probably put it there himself to attract the girls. Um, he probably likes it there. I'm sure he doesn't. Well, he'd complain if he didn't. Look, um, I don't mean to pry, but are you sure your friend's all right? Oh, uh, bitten by a mosquito, that's what. Happened on a treasure hunt, I reckon. Yep. Uh, he'll be better after he's had a nice lie down. Will you shut up and sit down? Whoa, ibble, ibble, egg, egg. I'm sorry? The eyes, the eyes, the awful knowing eyes. What's happened to you? I couldn't take it. Thumping, not thumping. My brain's gone potty. Ah! Get them off me. They're all green. You wouldn't be a loony by any chance, would you? What? My dear sir, I'm shocked. Nay, hurt at the insinuation. Eh? Hey? I am a victim of circumstance. Nothing more. That and the fact that he's barking mad. Now, look, I... The young, the dark, the crab-wise. Oh, no. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Ankmore Park. Oh, now let me guess. You're a patient here, aren't you? Oh, no. I'm just here for background colour. Here, chuk, 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 chuk. Dark they were, and golden their eyes. The bells, the bells. Ah, jolly good. Carry on. This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Next! Another case of repressed neuromogrophosis. No, no, I just forgot to shave. So, uh, I will. <laughs> Maybe another time. Uh, so, Mr. Wizard, uh, just sit down and examine these ink blots. Uh, tell me what you think this first picture represents. Ah, well, um, it's a bit ugly. A dead birdie? Mr. Dinosaur's bum? Oh, an emperor penguin threaded on a porky. Well, you can keep that one. No, no, it's a charge. Not so. And uh, how about this one? Got grief. Hey? Is that you with the mask on? What? <laughs> Wrong pictures. <coughs> <laughs> and what about uh, this one? Yeah, it's 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 an elephant's backside. Really? Reminds me of a patient I once had. Oh, you can keep that one. No, no extra charge. Uh, anyway, now how long have you had this uh, fixation uh, that you are a pencil? Who told you about that? Oh, come now. Listen, it's only a hat. Just a hat. It hasn't even got any lead in it. <laughs> a very bad case. A pencil case, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I'd better see you again on Tuesday. Will you shut up and sit down? Hello again. Uh, hello. Have you seen him? Yes. Well, 
Probably. Oh, you don't seem very sure. What does it look like? Um, well, he was tallish, shortish, with fairish, dark hair and a thing on his face. Thing? You know. A beard? Yes. Yuck. He'd never wear a beard. Only a complete idiot would wear a beard. Madam, I believe you are insane. Well, I have to find him. It's all part of the cure. Now that you mention it, I think I may have seen him. Look, uh, give me a note so I can arrange for him to meet you. Something around here smells like cinnamon dipped toad balls. Right here, sir. Sugar donuts. Normally a penny a piece, but for you, tuppence a bag. I shouldn't do this, mind you. I'm cutting my own throat. Oh, all right. Just give me some donuts. What's that handshake you did? What handshake? The one you did just then. I never. Excuse me, young man, but you did. I saw you. Like that. Like what? The handshake. You did it again. Did not. Did too. Well, look, let's say, just as for instance, that I did know about a secret handshake. Now, if I told you, it wouldn't no longer be a secret. That's a double negative. What? Wouldn't no longer. It's a double negative. So? So, if by telling me it wouldn't not be secret, then by telling me the opposite must be true. Oh, uh, yes. So, by telling me it would be a secret. So, you see, it's perfectly safe to show me how it's done. Look, I think we might need to revert to some sort of proof of your last statement. The logic seems highly suspect. And? Well, if you could go over this double negative thing step by step, maybe on paper, like. You're a street urchin. Starfish. Hm. A street starfish, yes. You can't tell me that being a lovable fantasy street stereotype in any way prepares you for understanding the vagaries of symbolic logic. Well, if you could just prove it by means of a Venn diagram or an if-then-else statement... Can you read? Ah, you've put your finger on a problem area. So just show me the handshake. How do you do it? Couldn't tell you, Gav. Not just like that. Not without initiation, like. You can only learn the secret if you prove that you're a man. Shall I report to a doctor? Well, you'd only know the physical. What? You know, sir, the real. The substantial. What I originally meant, sir, was for you to prove an innate yet unseeable quality of manhood, being a stereotype classification of... Now look, we're verging on that philosophical proofing problem again, aren't we? Look, Gav, just go and prove that you're a man. Then you'll be good enough to earn the secret handshake. <coughs> Thank you. 
What's your score? Good gods! That's... inventive. Ill work has been afoot. I have you to thank for this. Business is booming. You must really have the market on the hop. It's going forward in leaps and bounds, sir. I'm trying to give business a leg up. Oh, no. Everyone says it's a good career move. Just think of the saving in footwear. I'm surprised they let you stay here. They don't like beggars. Didn't the city guard try to shoo you off? Oh, no, sir. I told them begging wasn't my sole reason. Let me guess. You wanted a toehold into a bigger market. So, do I have legitimacy now, sir? No. Now you're just having a leg to stand on. Ah, oh, I see your point. I'll work on it. So, how's business? A few cutbacks. We're trimming down our operation. Things are getting hairy. It's just me, really. I can't concentrate. I can't stop dreaming about my little milkmaid. Hmm. What if I were to arrange for you to meet her? Who? Her? The apple of me eye? The most perfect instrument of the goddess of love? That's the one. You're on! It's from here. Oh, oh, well, oh, yeah, oh, very, very nice. Oh, oh, she's a naughty one. Oh, 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 she's beautiful. Oh, I don't know how she does it. Oh, I'm so in love. Oh, 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 well, oh, yeah, the very, oh, very nice. Oh, oh, she's a naughty one. Oh, oh, quick, mind the shop for me, will you? Right, you are then. Absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. any moment now. Oh, my beloved would never keep me waiting for long. No. Mm, well, good luck. You haven't seen her anywhere about, have you? Possibly. Look, um, I think maybe I'd better go. I wish I could think of a wish. Can't we discuss this? You know, I, I've always wondered, just why are you crossing the road? 
Look, you can't frighten me. <laughs> Bad boy. That doesn't work. <laughs> Perhaps it's time I sang about my favourite things. Offless giblets is full of some sort of vile, yellow, blasphemous, five sided. Ooh, no, wait a minute, it's just custard. I knew this game would drive me over it eventually. Handy for holding the coconuts up out of reach and thus providing me with yet another little problem to solve. Dark out here. Handy that. That doesn't work. Ooh, pretty. See. Ah, now I can get at the milk.
That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Greetings! I am the mighty wizard Rincewind. A wizard? A real wizard? Uh, yeah. And don't you forget it. Not impressed. You can't go in. Look, haven't you two got anything you'd rather be doing? Well, yeah. I suppose I could go home and arrange some flowers and that. I could go see that psychiatricist bloke. What do you want to go and see him for? No. Oh. I told the captain I thought my wife was beautiful, and he gave me a chit to go and see the psychiatricist. Well, I'll just move along then, shall I? Fine. Ah! Just one thing. Hmm? Oh, nothing. No. What? What were you going to say? Well, it's this picture. What do you boys think of it? Oh, very original, that. It's a dog's bum with a hat on. No, mate. Look, it's your wife. My wife is not ugly. Still here? That's the trouble with a feudal system, you see. Queuing means very little in the face of a stratified social structure. It's all a matter of social seniority. Seniority? Yeah, next time read the fine print of the social contract, that's what I say. I see your point. Where's the thief? I think he went to the shades. It's a thief thing. Hello, and you are? Well. I was the tax collector. Then some git had me locked up in the stocks, and now I've lost my job. Oh. They dared to put me in the stocks. Peasants. I'll get them. All of them. Laugh at me, will they? I'll pull their allowable deductions out with my bare hands. Um. Hey, don't I know you? Gosh, is that the time? I'm sure I've seen you somewhere before. Have you ever been to the Duchess of Froomesbury's Ball? No. Well, we can't admit there, then. Oh. Right you are. Hey there, big boy. What's this line in aid of? Vending permits. You need one to sell wares in the city square. Really? Yep. So how'd a nice boy like you get into a mess like this? Hmm. I think I might just go stand over there for a while. Oh, the hat suits you, dearie. Dearie? Oh, dear. So, where have you been all of my life, love? Not born for most of it. Oh, gods. Hello? Oh, it's a visitor, isn't it, Chucky? A visitor, yes it is. 
No, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. Come look here, come look here. Mr. Pencil Ed says hello. Um, hello. <laughs> he said hello to us, Chucky. Oh, oh Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. Um, yes, uh, what might your name be? It's secret. Eh? I can't tell you, but Mr. Flower knows. Oh, well, if you like. Um, hello, Mr. Flower. <laughs> what? He's all wet. Oh, chucky, chucky, chucky. <laughs> well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Chucky's dirty. Chucky won't bath. Won't bath. Practical criticism always speaks more loudly than words. Which is why this is no surprise. The hedgehog couldn't be buggered. Chucky power! Mra power at last! Chucky power! Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Mra, I was born for world domination, Chucky! Mra, now they'll have to laugh! Mra, comedy will be compulsory! Spontaneous hilarity will be timetabled three times today! Everyone will laugh until they drop! A golden age, Chucky! A golden age! Chucky, Chucky! Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! That doesn't work. Chucky saw a wizard. Chucky, 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 Chuck. Quiet. Shh. Wizard alert. Wizard alert. Shut up. Look, will you just shut up? Chucky see. Chucky scream. That doesn't work. Ah! 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 That doesn't work. Eye makeup, rouge, hair cream, all seems a bit dandified if you ask me.
I was told this might be Big Sally's address. Can't imagine why that would interest you, big boy. Big boy. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> what? Well, why? Well, you are wearing a dress. Look, it's not a dress. It's a wizard's robe. It looks like a dress. But it isn't. It's the costume of a very ancient and revered order of aesthetes. Oh, you, you run a lot, do you? You'd be amazed. Mind you, that's not surprising, going round this town wearing a dress. Madam, I don't like your inference. As a wizard, I am chaste. Walking round in a dress, I'm not surprised. If I was you, I'd hate to be caught. Can you at least tell me where to find Big Sally? Oh, sure, big boy. <laughs> big boy? <laughs> it cracks me up. Well? Well, what? Where is she? Oh, I'm Big Sally. You should have said. Look, I've been told to come and ask you for one of your specials. Uh, a special? Um, yeah, that's right. And don't think I'm looking forward to it. All right, you go and get the milk, the egg and the flour, and I'll go and look for a really big bowl. Why is it I feel somewhat puzzled by that reply? I don't know about this. What is that? Oh. Mm. My word. Mm. Mm. Uh. It's a bowl of custard. Didn't you like it? A bowl of custard? That's your special, making custard? Why not? I can't imagine what assumptions you've been making. I'm a woman of many parts. My old granny used to say that good kissing only lasts five minutes, but good cookery lasts for years. Many's the man who slips in here for a bowl of custard he can't get at home. Will you stop smirking like that? Hey, it's great. Mm, better than my granny's. And now I'm going to have a bath. It's messy work making good custard. The best thing about being a wizard is that you're not allowed any, uh, you know, but you can have as much custard as you like. These are either patent elephant cosies or a pair of bloomers. I've forgotten which.
That duck. I'm alive! Now what's this handshake then? It's easy. You do this, then this, then this. Just practice on those three old codgers over there. Heavily padded bra. Ah, a genuine muffled ladder. Nice trowel. What trowel? I don't own any trowels. Yes, you do. You were using one just then. Liar! I saw you. Look, if I had a trowel, which is not to in any way imply that I actually do, it would be a tool of trade now, wouldn't it? I couldn't just let anybody mess around with it. What if that someone weren't just anybody, but someone pretty special in an unusual or useful kind of way? What? Like a colleague? Oh, actually I was thinking of a wizard. Really? Well, it would still have to be a pretty special kind of wizard. Is it a worthwhile job? Well, yes. If there was more pay and less breeze. Breeze? Right up the old dairy air, friend. My drawers have worn through. Well, that's got nothing to do with being a poorly paid mason, has it? If the pay was better, I could afford new underwear. I don't get horribly burned to death by any monsters or anything. That doesn't work. Hey, just what I wanted. That doesn't work. Aha! A characteristic hovel. How colourful. That doesn't work. Golden skeleton key.
Amazing what the home decorator can do with a few rags, a few scraps of wood and a couple of hundred parasitic insects. Golden Skeleton Key Well, at least someone's getting some kit round here. It's a doll of the jolly old hog father. That doesn't work. I can hear some oil sloshing around inside. Chimneys. Ah, the march of technology is a fine thing. Need light. Oh no thanks, I've already got one. This all takes an effort, you know. 
I'm putting myself out just for you, when there are thousands of other things I could be doing. Do I see any gratitude? I don't think so. Just stop following me, will you? I hope you realize I'm working my fingers to the bone. That ought to do the trick. Golden handled chimney brush. I've absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. Um, I'd rather not. Wizards and flames don't go together. Excellent. You're doing quite well for a soft skin. Thanks. Well, back to work. Excellent. You're doing quite well for a soft skin. Thanks. Well, back to work. Excellent. You're doing quite well for a soft skin. Thanks. Well, back to work. Excellent. You're doing quite well for a soft skin. Thanks. Well, back to work. Excellent. 
Excellent. You're doing quite well for a soft skin. Thanks. Well, back to work. Um, I'd rather not. Wizards and flames don't go together. I am free. Good. Well, you'll be off now, I suppose. <laughs> you know, back home to the old dimension. Home comforts, put your tail up and relax. Never. Now it is time to wreak my revenge upon this miserable world. First, I shall deal with the members of the Brotherhood, and then I shall come back for you. Me? But I wasn't even a part of it. You were there? Yes, but... Don't make any plans for the evening. Nice day for selling your wares. I, uh, I mean, your produce. Oh, times are not so great, though. The bottom's fallen out of the magic balm and lotion market. Everybody wants those new age fangled thingamies, you know, crystals and the like. I don't know what's happened to the world. Where have all the old values gone? So, you finally got your vending permit. Sure did, dearie. Wound that old patrician round my little wasp name, so I did. What interesting and magical items do you have for the weary adventurer? Well, how about this magic carpet? Low mileage, only one owner, a little old lady who took it out once a week for a spin to the market. Look at that decor, all the trimmings. More like all the frayings by the look of it. Come on now, sweetie, do you want it or not? Well, OK then. How's the cutest witch in town today? Go on, you're pulling my leg, love, so you are. How could you tell? Then again, there's no harm in hoping, is there? Ooh, give us a kiss, love, just a little one. Oh, thanks. I'll pass.
doesn't work. That's two no traps. Fish. Famine. Have you got uh, nine? Hmm. Well, I accuse Colonel Horseradish in the library with a lead pipe. Um, are you sure we're all playing the same game here? Damn. I've forgotten what I was going to say now. That little idiot over there's ruined my concentration. War? Is he one of yours? Him? No, that's one of Death's. You shouldn't let them run around loose like that, Death. They could breed, and then you'll never get rid of them. Want me to kill him for you? No. No point, really. Death? Have you got Mr. Bun the Baker? Not until his oven explodes next week. Oh, I see what you mean. Keeper. Opener, keeper, what's it matter? Well, I don't have to open it to just anybody who turns up. You could be a spy. A spy? Well, it's a possibility. You could be a very clever spy wearing a very effective disguise. Open the blasted door. What's the password? All right. Lean closer. It's... Spoons... Swordfish? Right? No. What? You didn't say Simon Says. Open the door or I'll kill you. Ah, the other password. <sighs> Hail, brothers! Hail! 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 Oh, hail! Yay, right! Hail! But once again, we elucidated brethren of the sword are met. Once again, we shall weave the webs of power. For we know now that tis our destiny to rule this city. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. Hail! Yes. Once I thought it was my destiny to build a paper mache dinosaur in my bedroom. Then I thought it was my destiny to win the men's overland saxophone championships. But now, I know, I finally know, that it is my destiny to rule Ankh Morpork. Here, what about us then? A marine company with these, my loyal lack of uh, um, loyal comrades. A new age shall dawn, my friends. Hail! An age of power and majesty. Hail! An age of freedom, without indoor plumbing and the job losses it entails. Hail! 
A world where a man can carry out his legitimate wealth redistribution business without worrying about quotas. Hail! Where cheap replastering will be outlawed in favour of major structural reinforcement. Yay! A place where low mackerel sales will be a thing of the past. And compulsory smoke-through cleanliness will be rigorously enforced. Hail! Brother Brigwit, Brother Broom, bring the tomb. Now, for the spell of power, I'm going to bring out the components of the potion, Brother Lightfinger. Yes, Brother Chuckles. Oh, the dark spirits of the universe. With this bowl, we do consecrate and, and so forth. Except now these... Eggs. Eggs. And this measure of corn flour. As we consign the potion to the flames, the boil and burn, blaze and bubble. Wait. It says here to simmer at low temperature for 15 minutes. Good grief. What the hell is going on? What exactly are we making? Have I ever told you how attractive I find you? Oh, chucky, chucky, chucky. I have triumphed. Goodness overcomes evil once again. The land is liberated. The serpent is gone. The dragon is dead. The dragon is dead. I killed him. Me. I shall humbly submit to whatever fabulous rewards you feel I deserve. Dragon? Don't be ridiculous. Dragons don't exist. What? Quite so. And since no one believes in them, we can hardly reward you for disposing of one. Next. Here, wait a minute. I slew a dragon. A real, bona fide, verifiable dragon. They don't exist. Yes, they do. No, they don't. 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 Yes, they do. Do, 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 do and do. No, they don't. They do. They exist if you believe in them. Ah, but no one believes in them. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Excuse me. Thank, thank you so very, very much. They do. No, they don't. They do, they do, they do. Dragons, you know, huge, vile, evil, stenchful, slavering... say believe, of course I meant mm, had heard rumours, unsubstantiated. Yes, well now I'm back. There's a few matters to attend to. Ah, oh, sorry about the, uh, the slavering thing. A bit uncalled for, really. Yes. I'll deal with you later. You summoned it. You get rid of it. Well, here we go again. Guards, custodians of the law, God's help us. What do you think makes a hero? Well, a true hero doesn't know he's a hero, does he? I mean, it's all relative. How do you mean relative? It's like maybe you ought to get a relative to fight the dragon. Oh, that's clever. I wish I'd thought of that. Ah, you've got to be at least a corporal to have tactical ideas like that. Oh, good grief. Look, all I want to know is... Have you got spare relatives, sir? Well... I have an aunt. There you are, then. Case closed. She's nearly 80. Better than wasting a younger person, then? Yeah. Trust the dragon will eat anyone. Right. Right. Look, we're getting sidetracked. How can I tell if someone's a proper hero? Well, a hero always knows what to do next. Does she? Who? His aunt. His aunt's going to fight the dragon? Let's hear it for a brave old lady. Shut up about my aunt. My aunt's not fighting the dragon. I need a proper hero. 
You said your aunt was a hero. Didn't he say that? Corporal Nobbs, he said his aunt was a hero. I heard him. Oh, I'd be proud of her if I was him. Look, let's not start that again. How do you actually recognise a hero? They've got a birthmark. It means they're a king or what's name. All heroes do. That's what makes them heroes. Has your aunt got one? Have you ever asked? How often do you write to her these days? What do you brave soldiers... Brave soldiers... ...know about dragon slaying? I mean, what kind of chance would someone like me have against a dragon? Listen, mate. The odds of killing a dragon must be a million to one. You'd have to be a hero. So what are the odds of someone like me finding everything a hero has to have? What? Forget it, mate. The odds of you finding all that stuff would be... A million to one? Yeah, that's it. and sharper. Hello? Hail! Yes, hail, brother doorkeeper. Right, give me the password and I'll let you in. Oh, all right. Ah, let's see now. It's, it's blah, 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 spoons, blah, 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 swordfish, blah, blah, blah. Right. No. Hey, you didn't see Simon Says. Oh, Simon Says. OK. Welcome, oh fellow brother of the elucidated brethren of the sword. Quite a good aroma to this love potion custard tart. This isn't black paint, it's ash. I wonder where that mason went.
Yes, this soot seems hauntingly familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on why. I do so enjoy these colourful little suburbs, don't you? Clatchian cactus juice, uh, with something wriggling inside. Do you get any heroes in here? Oh, I hate them. Always in here, flexing their muscles, strutting about in the posing pouches. Posing pouches? Yeah, God knows what they're keeping them. Barky, a drink. Clatchian cactus juice, uh... Hang on, sir, I'll just have a look. Yes? Sorry, sir. Just increasing the dramatic tension. Him, M M old, um, old, uh, what's his face? The, uh, the hero. Him, a hero. I still say you're wrong. It's hundreds to one that a little wimp like him could take out a dragon. Where's your friend gone now? Um, slumming. What is that? Him in that grave? He's only shamming. Wants to see who turns up with flowers. Look. I really think you ought to call a doctor or something. I think he might be quite ill. No, don't play along with it. It'll only encourage him. What can you tell me about heroes? Heroes? Can we tell you about heroes or what? Yes, indeedy. Can we what? What? Tell him about heroes. Oh, oh yes, yes. Heroes. Well, the first thing your potential hero must do is look right. Can't have shoddy looking heroes, can we? No, indeedy. Now, the most important thing for your aspiring hero is a posing pouch. Just the thing for attracting 
young man. So, yes, indeedy. Oh, indeedy me. The bigger, the better. That's what I always say. Just ignore him. I really do think we ought to get organised about this dragon. Quite right. Absolutely. But I told him you won't find one around here. The city's built on loam, you see. You've got to go up to the mountains to find them. Find what? What, what are you talking about this time? Uh, rocks. Uh, you, you need a rock. A rock and some bombs. Or uh, stocks. I've got some 10% stocks in a company somewhere. Can't say I want a dragon to eat them, though. Yeah, no sharecropping here. A virgin tied to a rock with bonds. You have to have it. It's tradition. Why is tradition so important? Because human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. Why? 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 Because human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. I'll give in. You've got more practice at this than me. Oh, you don't get to my age without being open to old ideas. As heroes, I mean real bona fide heroes, don't you think there's something useful you should do? Do? Are we invited to a do? Mm, oh, do. Take action. Fight against oppression, that sort of thing. Long time since I last went to a do. There was custard, I remember, and sausages on poles. No, I mean, shouldn't, shouldn't we all band together against the dragon? A band? Are they having a band as well? Canopies. That's what they called them, stuck in a pineapple. Very cultured. I wonder if we're invited. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. It's a man's life in the city watch. Vacancies for trolls, dwarves, gnomes and undead. Be a man in the city watch. Coffin for sale. One owner only. Low mileage. Apply after dark to Baron Not Far Auto. Elm Street. Make money in your spare time. Apply to Ankmore Pork City Mint. Outworkers Department. Ah! Crocus Gittus, or the common or garden boring old codger. The art of signposting is apparently long, long dead. All right, what are you selling this time? Weight loss, sir? I beg your pardon. Feeling like a bucket of lard, sir? Like the proverbial ambulatory what's name? Whale? Look, what are you selling this time? Just get it over with. It's the Leecho Suction Weight Loss Program, sir. Guaranteed to turn a hippo into a nymph in just one year or your money back. Let me guess, you're proposing using leeches to suck out someone's fat. Beauty can be yours while you wait, sir. But the leech is a hematoparasite. What, sir? It drinks blood. It doesn't gobble up cellulite. A little leech can't make you lose any weight. Depends how much blood it takes, sir. You'd be surprised. It's all guaranteed. Lose weight in one year or your money back. Here, have a leaflet. It says here that the management reserves the right to define one year according to any local calendar it sees fit. That's right, sir. But the Trumelian calendar year is 311 months long. Really, sir? Well, look, seeing as how you're a friend, I'll do you a discount. I'm cutting my own throat, but... Look, I don't need a weight loss system. Have you thought about the future, sir? I mean, you could remove weight now and store it for use in the future. Could cut down on grocery bills, sir. Now, I don't think that's very practical. Well, our medical practice now offers a variety of other services and cures, sir. I've got wart treatments, rheumatism, here's a potion guaranteed to cure blindness. But I'm not blind. You see, sir, a miracle cure. You're not fooling anyone, you know. 
Oh, Wilson, perhaps we can do business in the future. Ah, could you tell me about that Leecho suction thing again? Careful one, would you, sir? Cut price, I'm cutting my own throat. OK, then, couldn't do any harm. As if I haven't had enough exercise of late. A paper bag of leeches. Leeches. Ah, nothing like an invertebrate to get you going in the morning. The old magic markings on the snake trick. Have you ever thought of using this virginity thing as an advantage? Eh? Oh, as a virgin, I mean. Have you ever thought about the career possibilities of being, say, for instance, tied to a rock? Oh, um, well, uh, I don't actually qualify anymore. What? Did someone finally best you in combat? Um, at Tiddlywinks, actually. Tiddlywinks? Well, the goddess and me, we finally reached this understanding. Oh, blast! And I'm good at Tiddlywinks. So, what's up in the mayhem department today? Well, funny you should say that. Business is taking a very odd turn. Hmm? I did what you said, issued certificates of lustful intent, and it worked quite well. But then some fellows began transferring them. You know, saying I couldn't hit them because they'd passed the certificate on to someone else. Turns out they were cancelling people's debts if they took the note off their hands as a favour. I've had to get all formal now, stipulate the meaning of the notes in full. The issuer promises to redeem this note for one punch in the face. That sort of thing. Yeah, that's the one. I'm thinking of calling them pound notes. You seem a likely candidate to ask. What do you know about heroes? Heroes? Well, let me see. I think I killed a few the other day. Well, I say I killed, I just do the holes. They usually die all by themselves. No point blaming me. Well, about these heroes? Always muscular types. Always got moustaches. Moustaches, eh? Oh, yeah. But your real hero, your actual predestined hero, he's usually got the marks of some kind of destiny actually on him. What? You mean he comes born with them or something? Well, there's your birthmark, you know, marking him as a hidden heir to the throne. Then there's the magical sword left in the stepfather's keeping. A magical sword, eh? Well, you can always tell a real hero. They have a sword that goes ting. Ting? Yes, it's all part of the act. Look, I'd really appreciate some help with this rotten dragon. You don't think you could, like... Yes? Help? I mean, if... If it's not too much trouble, pardon me for asking and all. Well, I don't really think I can. Oh, look, why, for Offler's sake? Well, it's the flames, you see. The goddess Mothra kind of requires us to dance around them and then smack our heads against the wall. It's a very well-regarded ritual. Oh, really? Yeah. What with the dragon flame aspect of things, I can't see as I'd be much help. Look... Don't they have any other gods out there in the hublands that you can worship? Well, there is Frigamum, the snow god. Fine. Well, why don't you switch to worshipping him, then? What? Would you want to walk around in the frost in this outfit? You have a point there, you know. Possibly too. Well, goodbye.
United Alchemists now in pre-production for Trolls Prefer Blondes. Good to see that the really useful social traditions forever remain in force. I've absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. she would come. We're not listening. Ah, well, anyway, here's a bag. For who? For your friend here. He said he wanted it for when he went out to dinner with your wife. I never. Don't listen to him. It's a sodden lie. It isn't. He said he wanted it to put over his head so he wouldn't have to see your wife's face. Why, you? It's a lie. It's a lie. He's just trying to cause trouble again. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Thanks, pal. Ah, you're welcome, mate. After all we've been through together, it's silly how we can still... Yes, I know. Still. Thick and thin together, eh? You and me against the world. It's what friends are for, mate. What friends are for. So do you want the bag, then? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Oh, I see. Sort of a draconic calling card. Actually, if you're going to spend all day in a chair, I think you'd be better off opting for something with more lower back support. Are you standing for this new tax? Hey, it does seem a trifle harsh. How can I make progress up the social ladder if I get it in the neck? Yeah, it's hard to get ahead without a head. Pan 
pancake thieves. That's who's behind it. You're actual robbers of pan-fried bread goods. I'll just let you get on with it then, shall I? It's crinimal. That's what it is, crinimal. Right. Right you are then. I'll just stand over here. Don't mind me. It's rather hard to find a decent back scratcher these days. Ah! Hello, who's this? The damn thing's occupied. Ah! Hello, who's this? The damn thing's occupied. Oh! Eyes. Hmm. Perhaps we'd best not pursue this any further. Looks rather like a mouse hole. Sorry to disturb you. It's all right. That doesn't work. <coughs> that doesn't work. Then. Please, sir, we professionals within the industry prefer the term information extraction technician. A little nicety, sir, that marks an otherwise very old and dignified profession. Always does well to take pride in one's new line of work, sir. So you're new at the job, then? Well, more like a promotion, really. I started off as a tax collector, and it's all the same department. Really? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Hey, don't I know you? No. You? You're one of them. No, no, I'm not. What? I'm not. I've never even seen you before. Even if they did throw you in the stocks. Ooh, and someone might have been throwing tomatoes at you, but it, it wasn't me. Ah, oh, right, well, good. Because I'll tell you what, I'd have been ever so cross if you had been. Anyway, can I help you with anything, sir? A bit of torture on account? Something off the ears? Uh... No, 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 thanks. Just, uh, I'm just window shopping. <coughs> oh, no. Nice sturdy wood they use in these. Minimal entertainment facilities down here, apparently. Swords out of tune, that is. You want to take it to a dwarf, mate. They know all about tuning up swords. <gasps> ah! 
Aha! Now this is interesting. Oh. Um... Sorry about that. Just look and see what they've got pinned onto my lapel. <laughs> oh, Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Oh, Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Not by a long stretch. Arms for the poor, sir. Oh, no. This time you've gone too far. I do have status now, sir. Is it helping business? Oh, yes, sir. The money's just rolling in. Aren't you afraid someone will take it? No, sir. No one would attack an unarmed man. You're a loony. Oh, for heaven's sake. How did you get the second arm off? It wasn't easy, sir. It wasn't easy. It's a damn miracle. That's not quite what I meant. But, sir, there's a fortune to be made in the limb loss market these days. How? It saves on housing, sir. I don't need high ceilings anymore. You don't need doorknobs either. There you are, sir. Now you're getting the idea. Look, just don't cut anything else off. Um, well, actually, sir... I just don't want to hear about it. Right, you are then. I've absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. Prime knickknacks, soft toy dinosaurs. Greeting, shopkeeper. Good day, sir. Can I interest you in our toys? There's today's special, an amusing line of bells and whistles. Or there's Violent Bob, the doll with a face you can rip clean off. Eh? It's very therapeutic. I'm sure. The sort of thing you can share with your brothers. Brothers of evil, walking arm in arm across the rooftops of the world. Are you all right? Pardon? Oh, oh yes, yes. Never felt better. So, can I help you at all, sir? Anything special catch your eye? Oh, no. Just browsing. Browsing? Yes. Not... Not plotting? Definitely not. Not secretly planning the overthrow of the patrician and the total dominance of the city? No, no, not at all. Oh, 
them. Why do Asa bows away? But the fish don't seem to mind. The smell is terrible. But the fish don't seem to mind. That's a rather unusual fish. That doesn't work. Toilet? Purpose built? What's the world coming to? Nope! I can't shift it! A fine little octopus, that! Ah, a nice sturdy picture frame! Diploma from the Academy of Barbering, Bloodletting, Leechery, Tooth Pulling and Associated Self-Mutilations Academy. Funny sort of appointment book. Nice big pages though. Here, why are the straps attached to these armrests? Extractors, drills, needles. Hmm, look. Let's not go into this too deeply, OK? That doesn't work. Yes, still fails to create that relaxing atmosphere, though. You're all warriors. Warriors? What am I saying? So, do you know anything about swords? Ask me. You can get hurt with swords. I know. Not for a real sword, see? You've got to go and get a dwarfish sword. They're the only ones who know how to tune them properly. Tune them, eh? Hmm. Try the mines if you're looking for dwarves. They'll do you a favour. Ahem. <clears throat> right. Any friend of mine's is a friend of theirs. <laughs> 
Well, I'll just move along then, shall I? Fine. Stout fella. Excuse me, are you a dwarven smith? No, I'm dwarven Llewellyn. Dwarven smith is over there. So you're definitely not a dwarven smith then? No, I'm a miner. What, underage? Yeah, I'm only 137. They won't even let me into pubs yet. What's it like being a dwarven miner? Well, I just dig, dig, dig the old day through, apparently. Just that. The hours are long, but the food's not bad. Plus, there's the wandering princess allowance. Oh, really? Excuse me, sir. Yes? What is it? I haven't got all day. We dwarven swordsmiths lead a busy life. Excuse me, sir. Yes? What is it? I haven't got all day. We dwarven swordsmiths lead a busy life. Swordsmith? Yes. As in your actual maker and tuner of magical swords? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Well, would you tune up this sword for me? Yes. Will right now be soon enough for you? Look, you're sure you're a dwarven swordsmith? What do you mean? Well, aren't you going to tell me that you won't do the task until I find some obscure item from somewhere? Why? Well, it's traditional. Nothing's easy for adventurers. There's always just one more object to collect. Well, if you want it that way, I suppose. All right, go. And return only when you've brought me... A glass of elderberry wine. That's it. Complete your quest, and then return. Well, how was that? Oh, marvellous. I can't thank you enough. Any time, Bach. A tankard of wine? Uh, I, I, I can't, sir. The cellar's full of uh, thingies. Uh, what are they called? You know, furry blighters with the tails. What, foxes? That's it, foxes. Hundreds of them, all squeaking and eating cheese. Oh, we've got a plague of foxes in our cellar.
Haven't I seen you somewhere before? My twin brother runs the mended drum. Good looks must run in the family. Have you heard about my dog? Gaspo the Wonder Dog. Oh, go drink a gottle of gear. Oh, my dog. My wonderful dog. A beautiful dog it is indeed. Beautiful. Care for a gottle of gear? Greetings, noble nautical person. Yeah, what do you want? Give us a kiss, then. What? I didn't mean to. Mr. Wizard wants a spanking. Help! Got the gear, got the gear. Are you looking for trouble? No, 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 it's not me. I'm not the one who's... Why don't you give the dog a bone, you great tattooed matalo? <sighs> Help! <laughs> Did anyone get the number of that donkey cart? Look, um, sorry about all that stuff I said before. What? Well, you know, sorry about being a Matalo and all that. You see, it wasn't really me, it was this talking dog over here. If you were really sorry about all those things you said before, you'd buy me a drink. Ah, oh, look, would you have another round? Oh, <laughs> thanks, chum. I'll have a glass of milk, please. Milk? Oi, milk from the venomous she-bats of Ree, served in a dirty glass. Ah. I thought so. It's good for my stress. You see, I mess my Polly. <laughs> A glass of milk, please. Certainly, sir. <laughs> no, I can't shift it. Thank heavens, it's a tattoo. I thought it looked a bit flashy just for a birthmark. So, uh, you're a pirate then, are you? No, pal. Just a sailor now. Just a sailor since my Polly went away. <laughs> right. Well, you've got your drink now, so why don't you fill me in on some sort of useful information? Useful information? Well, that's the drill, isn't it? I go into a random bar, I find the one person who seems to be reluctant to talk to me, I buy them a drink, and they tell me something. Something like what? Well, adventure-oriented, preferably. Oh, well, if it's adventure you want, then here's the tale about the time when I was shipwrecked on the Isle of the scantily clad, rather well-manicured Amazon women. Oh, no. There I was, alone with her. They were suckling and rounded in a meringue, custard bath. And then she's like, you know, slithering over. And you know, and I keep on even the clawing her. And I got my, oh, And then we had some tea. Excuse me, sir, but I've been admiring your tattoos. Oh, fine stuff, eh? This one here, you seen this one? Hmm, that's a birthmark, isn't it? Oh, yeah, so it is. Well, 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 check out this one, then. I lost eight points of blood getting this one. It says... Mother. No, it says mudder. Oh, well, I, I, I'm a victim of low educational standards. It's the thought that counts. Why have you got a birthmark shaped like a crown? No idea, old son. There's one shaped like a humorous pig, too. Maybe I can't show you that one unless I get to know you a lot better. Mm. So where do you get tattoos? I can't tell you. I miss my Polly so I can't concentrate on anything till I find my Polly. Look, you've been a smashing listener. If you ever can, please go and find my Polly. Here's a whistle. It's his little parrot call. Whatever you do, don't ever lose it. I can't talk without my Polly. <laughs> I'll wear this around my neck. I won't lose it.
I can't shift it. That doesn't work. I can't shift it. There's something lurking behind it. There's something lurking behind it. Who's there? <laughs> Hello? Hello, is anybody there? Look, there is someone there. I can see bits of you poking out behind the door. What are you doing back there? Go away. I'm the bogeyman. Really? I'll give you a fright you'll never forget. Look, just come out from behind the door. I... I can't. I'm afraid of open spaces. An agoraphobic bogeyman? Lay off. It's no fun being a legendary figure of terror. What does a bogeyman do anyway? It's quite a hard job being a traditional figure of terror. Long hours and no real holidays. Really? Well, there's the good side too. There's your place in folk tale and legend. And you're your own boss. Get out from behind that door. I want my mum. So, um, what does a bogeyman do, actually? We have a highly valued traditional community role. What, frightening children into eating their greens? Serving as formless objects of folk terror, that sort of thing? Yes, that's it. Then there's your special commissions. One time, these wizards tried locking a cat inside a box and opening it up every now and then to see whether the cat had died. My father frightened one of the old geezers to death when he jumped out of the box instead. Yeah, I think I've heard of that. It added an extra complication to the principle of uncertainty. It made random chance seem a bit more random than anyone supposed. It was all death's doing, of course. A subcontract job. You're not really a bogeyman. I am too. Go on, let's see you then. I'll come out, I'll come out and you'll get such a shock. All right then. All right what? All right, come out and scare me. Well, you're ready for it now. I mean, it's not a shock if you're expecting it. So, you're saying your effectiveness as a legendary figure of terror is entirely due to my not knowing exactly what you are or when you will appear. Um... Well, maybe. In which case, you should change your name to something more appealing, you know, to heighten the shock effect. Such as... Cyril. Cyril? That's no name for a bogeyman. Heightens the surprise effect, though. You're right there. Hmm. Cyril the bogeyman. Coming out from behind the door now? No. Oh, stop snivelling. I thought you were a grown monster. Whatever would your mother say? Mother? Oh, mother? My mother would never take me to the zoo, you know. Really? Did you get a lie on a couch, by the way? Oh, no. The door's quite comfortable, thank you. Anyway, I asked her, and she'd never take me. Have you ever thought of seeing a psychiatricist about this problem? Oh, no. I mean, that's for sick people. Yes, quite. Well, tell me about your mother. Well, the zoo's important to a young bogeyman, you know. All part of a basic education. It's not easy scaring people, you see. It takes a lifetime of dedication. You have to start small and kind of work up to human beings. As in... Terrify some lower orders of life, then shift up to people once you've got the neck. That's it. That's what you have to do. Ah. Well, I think I can help you there. I can find you some foxes. Foxes? Sorry, I meant mice. Anyway, I can find you a few if you like, and you can try scaring those. They're not 
big mice, are they? I, I don't think so. I mean, those ones that jump can't bear it when they jump. Well, you just come along and we'll find you some ones that don't jump. Well, it's a good idea, but I'm afraid I just can't leave my door. Oh, good grief. Why? Well, it's a symbol, you see. A representation of my inner belief that I'm not yet ready to face a possibly hostile world. Are you sure you've never been to a psychiatricist? Well, goodbye. Who's there? Hello? Hello, is anybody there? Look, there is someone there. I can see bits of you poking out behind the door. What are you doing back there? Go away. I'm the bogeyman. Really? I'll give you a fright you'll ne- Look. I- An anchor up? What is a bogey? It's qu- Lo Well, there's your- Get out- hey. Oh, stop snivelling. I thought you were a grown monster. Whatever would your mother say? Mother? Oh, mother? My mother would never take me to the zoo, you know. Really? Would you care to lie on a couch, by the way? Oh, no. The door's quite comfortable, thank you. Anyway, I asked her, and she'd never take me. Have you ever thought of seeing a psychiatricist about this problem? Oh, no. I mean, that's for sick people. Yes, quite. Well, tell me about your mother. Well, the zoo's important to a young bogeyman, you know. All part of a basic education. It's not easy scaring people, you see. It takes a lifetime of dedication. You have to start small and kind of work up to human beings. As in, terrify some lower orders of life, then shift up to people once you've got the neck. That's it. That's what you have to do. Ah. Well, I think I can help you there. I can find you some foxes. Foxes? Sorry, I meant mice. Anyway, I can find you a few if you like, and you can try scaring those. They're not big mice, are they? I, I don't think so. I mean, those ones that jump can't bear it when they jump. Well, you just come along and we'll find you some ones that don't jump. Funny. I never knew mice could knock their knees. <sighs> Did you get the number of that donkey cart? <sighs> Hello again. So, how did we do? Well, he put up quite a fight, but I think I finally got him. A terrible fight? Well, yes, quite ferocious. Ferocious? How? How does a half-starved rodent of the order Mus Domesticus manage to almost overpower a full-grown bogeyman? He squeaked at me. Squeaked? Just squeaked? Well, it was the way he squeaked. Puts the wind up you, you know. Mouse bites can infect. I read it somewhere. Some fella's arm rotted clean off. 
You can't be infected. You're a legendary figure of terror. Still, best not take any chances. Yeah, right. You don't think he's going to come round again, do you? That doesn't work. River ank water, 100% proof. I suppose anything that's gone through so many sets of kidneys must be pure. Counterwise wine. Hmm, looks like a good year, even if it is ten years from now. Bear Hugger's whiskey, 20% proof. Elderberry wine, best used before 3.30 p.m. Well, give us a Zynmaus Lacantosh Splenetic Emollient, then, please. Elderberry wine, best used before 3.30 p.m. What's that noise? I'm <laughs> sorry. That noise? What's that noise? I can't hear you. Wait a minute until I turn off the noise. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm banging grains. It's for the clickies. We need novelty food for people to eat while watching the shows. Banged grain? Great name. <laughs> yes, I thought it up myself. Yeah, I can tell. Does it always make that awful noise? It's a civil disturbance, that is. Don't you need a license for doing that? Well, I asked if you needed a permit to bang grain, and they've given me one of these instead. This is a permit for soliciting street girls. But is that better than exploded corn kernels with butter? You don't get out much, do you? Have you ever thought of... What? Well, the advantages of heading back into more traditional lines of work. Base metals into gold, that sort of thing. No, no future in it. I turn one base metal into another one, and then another, and then into gold. And ten minutes later, it all reverts to the original metal again. Back to first base? Yes, that's the one. You want to get your process cheaper. This stuff's too expensive. Well, I bought the grain special from the grocers. Why don't you go down the livery stable? You'd pay a third the price. Yeah, yeah that's an idea there. Now, you watch the shop for a moment and, and I'll be back.
that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Here! Yeah, this camera even has a little veranda and an easel for the imp. Hmm. Empty. Quite a trim little cart, that. I say, this poor beast looks under the weather. That doesn't work. covered with mud. At least I hope that's mud. Winnie if you love dragons. Lady Rampkin's Sunnyvale Dragon Sanctuary. That doesn't work. Sore ass. Winnie if you love dragons. Lady Rampkin's Sunnyvale Dragon Sanctuary. Lady Ramkin's Dragon Sanctuary. Brimstone deliveries at the rear. Yes. Well, it's all right if you go for that pre-patrician opulence. I'm 
just feeding my little darlings now. Do come around the back. Yes. Well, it's all right if you go for that pre-patrician opulence. I wonder if wood is really the wisest thing to make dragon cages out of. A nice blue ribbon and rosette. That's the second largest woman I've ever seen. Oh, hello again. You're at the hairdressers. Ramkin. Do mind the doo-doos. Eh? Well, if you don't, the doo does what it does. It does? What does it do? Well, it does the dirty... the doo-doos, I mean. It can be a dodgy ducking doo-doos. If there's any carbon on your feet, you could be history and geography. Dragon droppings are rather unstable, even explosive. That's what the boots are for. Can't go tracking this sort of thing in the house. It eats through the rugs and the foundations, actually. Oh, yes, yes. Um, I'll be careful. Some sort of constable, are you? Eh? Well, your hat. It's very grand. Officer's issue, I suppose. Um, no, not exactly. I'm... I'm a wizard. Ah, sorry. I'm afraid I don't have much to do with men. Dragon fancier, are you? Run that bit about men past me again. Oh, well, I've just never... There's never... Well, dragons have taken up most of my time, really. I've never really got the hang of... Well, you know, boys and everything. Let's not mention dragons. I've had a bad day. <laughs> On earth was that bang? Oh, there goes another one. Poor little mite. He was one of my best breeders, too. There he goes. Off. He's gone off. It's the flames, you see. It's all in the digestion. The more combustible the food they eat, the more powerful the flame. Really? Now and then one of the little beggars overdoes it and sets himself off. Rather nasty, really. Uh. Dragon innards are so hard to shift from the ceiling. Do they all explode? Well, what they're trying to do is modify their digestion to create hotter flames. If they could only approach evolution more scientifically, they might do better. As it is, the species needs an awful lot of looking after. Is a self-detonating, toxic, defecating house pet really going to catch on? Well, there's the excitement of breeding, pedigree lines and all. Yeah, and you can watch them all blow up afterwards. Yes, it's hard. You get so fond of them. I give the members of one family line the same name and then just attach a number on the end. It makes it less heart-wrenching to lose one then. That was Mambo the 15th who just detonated now. Sadly, his son is a bit of a disappointment. Oh? Yes, he's a runt. Mambo the 16th will probably never survive to breed. He's too small to fly and dragons mate on the wing, don't you know? Still, he's a romantic little soul, a real charmer to the ladies. Ladies? Well, lady dragons. He's always doing little mating dances. Quite the little show-off, really. Dragons? Where? All around you, young man. Swamp dragons, the only kind of dragon that normally exists, of course. They're quite lovable. Are you a member of the Dragon Protection Society? 
Protection Society, my dear woman, there's a dragon out there that is bent on burning this whole city to the ground. My dear woman, there's a dragon out there that is bent on burning this whole city to the ground. Yes, poor thing. It's usually the owner's fault, you know. Well, I'll catch you later then. That doesn't work. A nice blue ribbon and rosette.
shed, dearie. Eek! Is it much of a living being a witch? Actually, business hasn't been going all that well. I've lost my custard-making book, and I used to sell the most irresistible custard. Really? Well, it was a bit of a cheat. I used to put love potion in the custard. You couldn't help but fall in love with it. So the book's gone. Why don't you try looking in the library? You're such a thoughtful little man. Now come over here and sit on your old nanny's trick knee. Eek! Let's not do something we'd regret, shall we? How about a kiss for old nanny? Eek! Madam, try not to remember who you are. Somehow I didn't think your hobby would be knitting. Ooh, I'm a devil for it. It's pretty hard to do, though. My cat, Grebo, keeps playing with the wool, the little scamp. Be careful if you go near him. He's not very happy about men in dresses. It's not a dress. It's a robe of occult power. It's got sequins. I happen to like sequins. They happen to give a very nice occult sparkle, all right? Right, well, don't be a stranger. Cheers. What a pretty little sheep. Nothing to be scared of here. Hmm, what do we have here? Nanny Ogg's patent lie remover. Removes unsightly untruths, leaving behind just the odd white lie. Well, more sort of quartz than crystal, and well, more sort of lumpen than a ball. Still, does the trick, I suppose. Nanny Ogg's inheritance accelerator. Why wait for the rest of their life? Nanny Ogg's special corn remover and passion filter. Must be for those with a foot fetish. Watch out, dearie! Eek! Ah, about your patented lie remover potion. It's my special truth potion. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, could I borrow some? I'll only let you have some in return for a kiss. And this time, I'll be keeping my eyes open, so I will. Oh, no. Try again later, or earlier. That doesn't work. Watch out, dearie! Eek! Ah, about your patented lie remover potion. It's my special truth potion. Aha! Uh -huh. Um... Could I borrow some? I'll only let you have some in return for a kiss. And this time, I'll be keeping my eyes open, so I will. Oh, no. Ha, 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 ha.
My, my. Ah, about the truth potion? Here, take it. Oh, my, my. Ah, now don't tell me. It's purple and has 100 eyes. Am I close? <laughs> hey, who turned out the lights? Well, at least it's nice and warm and soft out here. How do I get out of this... place? No, no, forget that last statement. How do... Do I get to stay here? Hey, that's cheating. Uh, what? That's cheating. You can't do that. Put that rotten thing away. It's not cheating. It's just enriching the storyline. Yes, it's in the rules. It isn't. I'm sure it is. You can be quiet too, Mr. Handbag Face. And if you try to swap dice on me one more time, I shall do to your black monks what the Prophet Dundas did to the tribe of the Extralites, with both thumbs. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, but what is that? What? Uh, there, the little pointy-headed thing. Uh, you've got a little piece hidden down your cleavage. <laughs> Oh, goodness me, I wonder how that got there. Put it back. Ah! Yes. I haven't had any fun with that one yet. Wait till it meets my monk this time. Oh, just get on with the game. That doesn't work.
I knew this game would drive me over it eventually. This hat is certainly more impressive than mine. Hey, there's something inside. Hello. Nice day for it. Yes, um, nice d day f for what? For whatever you're planning to do. So, so y you mean I'm destined to fail after all? You're here to collect my soul, thus ending the quest and demonstrating the futility of all human endeavour. No, I'm just having a break. Oh, sorry. I shall see you later on, but I won't tell you what's going to happen because I don't want to spoil your day. Look, you're a... you're a, a busy... um... A man. There's no need to disrupt your schedules on my account. Oh, I enjoy it. See you at the city square, Nick. Oops. Sorry. It slipped out. Forget I said it. Great Atui is referred to as an it as opposed to a he or a she, simply because its sex is undetermined. A two-inch shell, no doubt. I wonder if it's a boy turtle or a girl turtle. I wonder what they eat. I wonder what they eat. Not be silly. Oh, let's not be silly. Oh. I'll hang on to this myself.
That doesn't work. Polly! Polly, you come back to... Here, wait a minute. Where's that whistle, then? Look, it's just a little accident, sorry. An accident? My whistle! It just sort of fell off the world. Anyway, I got your parrot back. But my whistle! My handcrafted Oblander parrot calling whistle! My mother gave that to me! So oh, how can I concentrate now that I know the last keepsake of my old dead mother has gone from the world? Right, I'll, I'll go fetch the whistle then, shall I? Oh, my Polly! My beautiful Polly and my lovely whistle! Oh, how can I repay you? Just tell me how to get a tattoo. Go to the barber shop, of course. Sweetie doll. Eh? So good to see you. You're looking swell. Oh, well, thank you very much. Now sit down and shut up. Ooh. Nay, 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 nay. It's feeling. Ooh. 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 Oh, this is terrible. Next, if I need a monkey, I'll let you know. Hello again. You're the troll, right? Flint. Eh? My name's Flint. My manager picked it for me. He thought it was more suave name for the clickies. If you want to audition these days, you gotta be suave. Ah, pieces of eight, pieces of eight. Look, I am your father. It's not got any better, has it? Not really, but just think of all the savings they could make on hiring extras. What sort of role are you looking for? A hero. That's why I've grown the moustache. You have to have a black moustache if you're going to be a hero. That moustache is made out of lichen, isn't it? Well, I was in a hurry. Anyway, I don't grow beard bits very well. Baby, sweetie doll. Eh? So good to see you. You're looking swell. Oh, well, thank you very much. Now sit down and shut up. I'm going to be a star, you know. Sorry? I'm auditioning. It's for the star role in the new clicky Trolls Prefer Blondes. It's terribly modern. Why has your bus line gotten bigger? Silly cone implants, I think they're called. Silly cone? Yes, some cone-shaped bits chipped off that mad troll beside me. I stuffed them down my front. My agent thought it might be a good idea. You're keeping abreast of the competition, so to speak. So, how did you get an audition? Just stay in line like me. It's ever so much fun. I'm terribly excited about this casting couch idea. Really? Oh, yes, because I love fishing. I think I need a good lie down. Oh, do you want to go on the couch as well? Uh, not if I can possibly avoid it, no. Oh, so would you like my autograph? Your what? Well, it's like a name on a bit of paper. My agent Otto thought it up. He says it'll be worth a lot of money one day. Really? Oh, yes, especially if you use expensive paper. If you bring me something to write on, I can give one to you. That's very considerate of you. Next! Next! Ah! Come in! 
so, so you want to play a hero, yeah? A hero? Well, this is to be a hero's role. Just say your lines and we'll see if we can get you a screen test. Lines? For all heroes shout something as they attack. It's traditional. Just say whatever comes into your head. Um, hasta la vista, baby? Nein, 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 nein. Here, try this. But this just says, Arg. Hey, that's what all dragon slayers say. Really? Yeah, just before they fry to a crisp. Come back when you practiced. Now off you go. set to be your next appointment. Oh, that's marvellous. I'll be seeing you. You serve as the local tattoo artist, correct? Oh, yes. I'm the best on the disc. All the heroes come to me. <laughs> Blindingly painful mutilations to the discerning gentry. That's me, sir. Here, take a seat and I'll do you now. Now, what style of tattoo are you interested in? And more importantly, what part of your body are we talking about here? <laughs> Those needles, they look pretty pointy. Razor sharp. It's so they can plunge efficiently beneath the flesh, you see. Mm. Oh, yes. Stabbing into the living tissue, hooking through the skin and spurting ink. Each tattoo needs that to be done thousands of times. Oh. Does it hurt? Oh, yes. The pain is quite intense. I've seen grown men turn into whimpering, creeping wrecks by just five minutes under my needles. Anyway, you're a pal, so I'll do one for you right now if you insist. You'll just have to bear with me. I'm too excited to work well. My hands are shaking. Oh, I really hope I don't stab the needles in too deep and then break them off. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Look, um, I think I'll pass for now. Well, in that case, why don't you try one of those newfangled transfer thingamy tattoos? They're made from a special clutchy and squid dye that adheres to your skin for a day or so. Sounds great. Where can I get one? Try my son. He gives them away with bubblegum. Your son? Yes, the little street starfish. Ah, ha! Thanks for that. I'll be off now.
Hello, little friend. Lovely bubblegum you have there. Oh, come on, Governor. What? Well, obviously you're trying to swindle me out of something. Next thing you'll be trying to trick me into performing some sort of stupid stunt as a diversion. Such as? <laughs> I suppose you were going to get me to blow an incredibly huge bubble and then run off with the goods. Never. I don't think you can blow bubbles much bigger than you have been anyway. Of course I can. Here, watch. Can I hold your bubblegum packet for you? Oh, thanks. This is empty. It comes with a transfer. You don't think I'm going to let you have my transfer? It's collectible. Well, how do you collect a transfer? I mean, you have to put it on your skin. It'll wash off. Wash, Gav? Oh, right. Sorry, I use bad language. Tell me again about the attractions of being a lovable street life stereotype. I'm class background colour, I am, sir. You're about to die. Just give me the damn transfer. <laughs> Come and get it, pencil head. This has to be the second biggest, stretchiest object I've seen today. Let's keep track of that. Let's keep track of that. Did you get the number of that donkey cart? Sore ass. Thank you. 
Touch the stuff again. That doesn't work. Yes, yes, a good example of post dynastic October Roke. Oh dear, I think I'm going to be rather ill. Hello? 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 Oh, yes. That's it, is it? That's the way you greet the greatest hero of our age? The one, the only, the invincible? You what? I'm important, me. I can't just go around answering any old greeting, you know? Well, how would you prefer I greet you, then? Well, shoving a pint in me hand would be nice. I'm Flea Bart the Incredible. Greatest thief in the multiverse. I've survived everything. I fought the ant god of quacks and he doesn't even exist. And I survived the valley of the scantily clad, amazingly well hairstyled Amazon women. I've even escaped from the Temple of Ophla, from which no other man has returned in fewer than three pieces. I don't believe a word of this. Huh? Huh? You dare to doubt the greatest hero of our age? I'm known all up and down the river, I am. The river? Yeah. The river Ank? Isn't that a little dangerous? You have to watch out for all the goiters and the yours. Yours? What's yours? Mine's another pint, thanks. 
Then there was the time I was a man in the box. I was talking about most men, 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 men. Barky, a drink. Egad, look, a picture of the Gold Cup winning rooster at the Clatchian Animal Crooning Competition. May I draw your attention to the picture of the award winning pig from the Ankmore Pork Pork Butcher's Guild Ball? Yes, that certainly is something. But what about that picture of the Special Merit Medallion winning cockatrice from the Wildlife Preservation Society's award ceremony for recently extinct species? Right, drink up. Ha! So you fell for my little trap. What? What have you done? What have I done? I... The, the pancakes. I stole the pancakes and the prunes and 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 the tooth with the gold. <laughs> I'm the very guy beating up. He was just lying there, crying his little eyes out. I'm sorry. I I don't know what came over me. Nice framed impster. Aha! It even catches the coy little glint in her eyes. Hello? 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 Oh, yes. That's it, is it? That's the way you greet the greatest hero of our age? The one, the only, the invincible? You what? I'm important, me. I can't just go around answering any old greeting, you know. Well, how would you prefer I greet you then? Well, shoving a pint in me hand would be nice. I'm Flea Bart the Incredible. Greatest thief in the multiverse. I've survived everything. I fought the ant god of quacks and he doesn't even exist. And I survived the valley of the scantily clad, amazingly well hairstyled Amazon women. I've even escaped from the Temple of Ofla, from which no other man has returned in fewer than three pieces. I don't believe a word of this. Huh? Huh? You dare to doubt the greatest hero of our age? 
I'm known all up and down the river, I am. The river? Yeah. The river Ank? Isn't that a little dangerous? You have to watch out for all the goiters and the yours. Yours? What's yours? Mine's another pint, thanks. Then there was the time I... Barkeep, a drink. Egad, look. A picture of the Gold Cup winning rooster at the Clatchian Animal Crooning Competition. May I draw your attention to the picture of the award winning pig from the Ankmore Pork Pork Butcher's Guild Ball? Yes, that certainly is something. But what about that picture of the Special Merit Medallion winning cockatrice from the Wildlife Preservation Society's award ceremony for recently extinct species? None, however, can quite to my mind match the magnificence of that blue ribbon winning sheep from the uh, Followers of Offla Sacrificial Lamb competition. Yeah, that was the one. Right, drink up. Ha! Got you at last. Got me? How? But, but, there's nothing I can tell you. It's, it's all lies. I, I'm a weasel. Nothing but a weasel. A snivelling, no good, lying little we... Yeah, now look. So, just long and brown and lying with words and stuff. Now look you. Tell me about the Temple of Ofla. It's in the jungle, over a gorge. Any map will show you. Tankard of wine. At least it looks like wine. I wonder why it's pitting the metal in the tankard. Abandon all hops, ye who enter here, by order of Dwarven Women's Temperance League. Elderberry wine, best used before 3.30 p.m. Bear Hugger's whiskey, 20% proof.
Excuse me, sir. Yes? What is it? I haven't got all day. We dwarven swordsmiths lead a busy life. Hmm. Well, would you tune up this sword for me? A sword that goes ting! Meet once again, Wormling. Oh, no! Yes, tis I. Prepare to meet thy doom. Stop! What's huge and purple and has a hundred eyes? My mother, with perhaps 97 extra eyes. 97? Yeah, good old mum. Oh. <laughs> well, that sort of takes the effect out of that one. Now, have at you. Darts with scales and big long tails and fang. Oh, oh dear. I like the other exit better. Temple Restoration Fund. Leave valuables here before entering. I don't like the sound of this. Looks like a little Z monogrammed into it. I'd rather not see what happens.
Well, if that thing's supposed to be the size of a pigeon's egg, I'd hate to see the pigeon. This all seems hauntingly familiar. Well, it's either sand or yet another victim. That doesn't work. That's where the dragon summoning book used to live. Ah, what's this? Magic chance for dragon slaying heroes. I'll just sneak a look. Grief. I've been read by a book. Sturcus, Sturcus Mortuus. No, I won't say it. I won't, at least not until I need to. doing here? Us? Nothing. Yes, you are. You're all here waiting for something. Programs, get your souvenir programs. Only one penny each and I'm cutting my own throat. What's that lady doing lashed to that rock? Um, reserved seating. I thought you said nothing was going on. Well, it isn't, but if anything does happen, then she's got a front row seat. Help! She said help. No, she didn't. She said well. She's calling for puppies. Give me one of those damn programs. Opening act, Grand Fanfare and Dancing Girls. The amazing Bendable Sisters will perform amusing novelty acts. Mm, should be worth seeing. Followed by, Lady Ramkin will be offered as a sacrifice to appease the mighty dragon. Main attraction hero roast, sausage sizzle to follow, if wet, in the town hall. Don't worry, we're pretty certain a hero's going to turn up. Where? When? Are you sure? Oh, there's no stopping the buggers. That's what we're here for. And if it doesn't work out, there's always the sausages. 
Well, now that dragon can meet its doom at last. Little did it expect that it would meet up with a true hero. Ooh, a hero? Who? Me! So you found all the bits you need then? Yes, now I finally have the power. I'm a hero at last. <laughs> a million to one against you killing it. Never! What can a dragon possibly have to match my wits, my cunning, my majestic pointy hat? Why, the creature's nothing but a lizard with big ideas. Just a scaly, bloated, cowardly... Ahem. Oh. It was him. I said I'd leave you until last. Go for it, lad. Hit it in the vulnerables. Shush. Look, Mr. Dragon, why don't we just come to some sort of agreement? I mean, I am a hero. Heroes win. Well known fact. On the other hand, in a sensible universe, the actual chances of my harming you are about. A million to one? Yes, that's it. So, in the interests of promoting mutually beneficial relations, why don't you push off and bother another city? Thank you very much. No hard feelings. Case dismissed. You feel this is the best course of action for the overall promotion of positive experience, which is to say, enjoyment and well-being? Exactly. Because if the day ends with one of us dead, then the negative experience of the loser will cancel out the positive experience of the victor? Yes, yes, that's it exactly! Mm. Yes? I think I'm going to eat you anyway. Why? 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 Was it something I said? No, it's just that I hate philosophers. Sorry. Well, in that case, take this! Circus Mortuous Sun. Circus Mortuous Sun. Missed me by that much. Hello, hello. survive that. Well, that was one chance in a million. Right, right, that's it. I've had enough of you. What happened to the philosophy? I'll give you something to think about. I'll be here. And I'll be back. Hmm, that wasn't a bad lie. I've absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. A maiden in distress. Well, technically a maiden anyway. If we rescue her, I think we'll just give the kiss thing a bit of a miss.
That doesn't work. Good grief, it's sizzling! That doesn't work. Someone's left a potato in here. Lo, so, behold the majesty of those tall, pointy stone things.
not you again. Can't you leave a monster in peace to eat? Aha! Hasta la mister! Eat hot smoking death, reptilian trash! Is that a swamp dragon in your hands? Or are you just pleased to see me? This is an M16, the world's most powerful swamp dragon. It can blow your head clean off. You gotta ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? So that's why it doesn't have any vulnerables. It's a girl. A female? On heat, too. They always get spockier when they're feeling a little... very mm, overheated. Good grief! By Mothra's hand warmers. This click is going to make me a fortune. It's hardly suitable for public viewing. Well, you go up there and tell. Anyway, it has not been sticking quickly. He's got an interesting seductive technique. Lots of energy, anyway. Pub, anyone? Why not? Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, the horse threw a shoe. I had to see about shipwreck. My side went blunt. There was a terrible earthquake. The map got lost. My robe didn't come back from the cleaners. There was a sudden plague. It's not my fault! Oh, bugger. In a second-hand set of dimensions. In an astral plane that was never meant to fly. <laughs>